All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Sorry, we have to start again because we have a guest, and we have uh, Sheikh Karim, uh, but in uh, his Skype, his name is Karazma Ali. I'm not sure. So let us see, and let us call him, and he is welcome him to join us. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, welcome, uh, Sheikh Karim. Is that your name, or I'm wrong? Uh, yeah, it's a title. Karzma Ali. Yes. Uh, Karzma Ali. Okay. So your name is Karzma Ali. No. Uh, oh. uh, no. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. But we have to speak in English because, as you know, people who they are joining us here, they are, uh, you know, English-speaking people. Okay, I'm only seeing you. Yeah, well, I am in YouTube. Actually, we were live, and uh, because they told me you are, I was going to leave actually, but then they told me that you are trying to call me, and I am not online in Skype. So I decided to start oh, yeah. a new stream. So we just start a new stream, and people soon will join us. We have already, you know, mm -hmm. soon we will be. We were like a thousand something, and now because I was leaving, but soon we will have mm -hmm. a big number with us. So uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Ali. Yes. Uh, you know, as I understand that you like to debate me about Islam and you want to convince us that Islam is a religion of truth. Is that That's correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, go ahead. I'm listening. Nice. Uh, we believe in the Old Testament, the Old Testament, the New Testament, but with time they got changed. Okay. That's why Subhanallah, uh, the Father, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, did provide the last testament, that is the Quran. Hmm. Yes. You said the father. Yeah. In the meaning of the father that I'm talking about, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm not talking about Jesus. So I need to differentiate them. But uh, so do you, Muslim, say, do you Muslim believe that Allah is the father? In a sense that, you, that the father is the Alpha and Omega in your own doctrine. That's why... I'm distinguishing between Jesus. When I say a God, you will consider that No, no, I'm not talking Jesus. about Jesus now. I'm saying, do you yeah. Muslim believe that your God, Allah, is the Father, the same as we call the Father, the Father? Yeah. Right. The Father with the characteristics that the Alpha and Omega. Okay. We call him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So okay. that's why I differentiate between them to know, to acknowledge that I'm talking about the Father. I'm All not right. talking about anyone else. Yes. But as I know... Uh, the Quran says that the Christians and the Jews, they claim that they are the children of Allah and they are his beloved. Yes. But the Quran rejects that statement in chapter 5, verse number 18. Okay. Can we open that? If, if, if I, if we... Sure. Chapter 5, verse number 18. Go ahead. Uh, a surah, you know the surah Al Maida, Al Maida, Al Maida. Okay, Al Maida. And by the way, if you feel comfortable to open your camera, feel free. It's up to you. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, uh, when you open the camera, it's more indulging. Uh, actually, that we can see each other. Subhanallah. Uh, Al Maida. No. Eighteen. Uh, verse. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Oh, so let me provide the connection. Okay, what does it say? You read. Go ahead. Uh, I'm still gonna if, um, log log the, my laptop to the, the internet. The Jews and the Christian they yeah. say we are the children of Allah or sons of Allah and His beloved. Say. Mm -hmm. Why then doth he punish you for your sin? So the Quran reject the statement that to say that uh, they are the mm -hmm. sons of Allah. Nice. Well, what's the, why does the Quran says that? Because they mm -hmm. got blasphemous against the, their own prophets that have been brought to them. The Jews were so stubborn with Moses and stubborn with other prophets mm -hmm. in their own timeline. How they were stubborn and, with Moses? Yeah. They, they, he, uh, 
Moses told them, just uh, follow me in, in these commandments, and they don't stop. What, what the commandment, just if like you don't story, mind, Sheikh Karim? What, what is like, the commandment? Yes, just like the story of the cow, when he told them, he found them, some man who was killed. And mm -hmm. they said, Moses, we have a, fan, one, uh, a man got killed. Okay, Moses said, kill a cow. And they said, what kind of cow? Then he gone to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked him what kind of cow. Then mm -hmm. got back to them, and he specified the cow. And they said, is it for grazing or is it for anything else? Then Moses got back again to have the knowledge. What kind of cow? Is it for grazing or is it for something else? Okay. And got back to them. So they were stubborn in these things. Whenever commands are given, they will be lacking in respecting these commandments. Yeah. The story, of the, the story of the cow, this is what it's called, the chapter of the cow in chapter 2, right? Yes. All right. But in the sto story there, it says that Allah, he ordered Moses... Uh, to slaughter a cow so he can hit somebody he's dead he was killed by a dagger yes. and that yes. he how Allah he bring people from death so why Allah he need a cow to bring somebody from death as a test for the Jews and hell how that is a test Will they yeah it was a test for the Jews okay how? you want to figure out why okay you want to figure out who did the crimes do this thing and the Jews starting to be what kind of thing? Why do we have to do this? Okay, do it so you can have the knowledge of who killed this guy. And they can't stop him. Why can't a cow? What is the color of the cow? Is it for grazing or something else? So if they kill the cow just at the moment when Moses told them, that's it. They will know who did it. But they kept stubborn. Kept, okay, I will go uh, with you. I will go with you. Yeah, but as okay, you see, as yeah. you see, the question the Jews they ask, it makes sense because even Allah, he agreed with them that there is certain details required for the cow. Because if Allah, if this is a question is not valid, then Allah should say to them, who care? Just a cow. But as you see in chapter and verse number 71, Allah, he gave him a description for a specific kind of cow. So the Jews, they were right. Secondly, if the, Jew, okay. if the, the Jews, they did not reject, they did not say, no, how you can do that. They are saying, uh, what kind of a cow we should use? And then you are saying that Allah want to find, they want to find out who get, commit the crime. Can't Allah tell them who commit the crime without mm -hmm. using a cow? Can't he resurrect? You know, as, as an yes. example, the Quran says that Jesus, he resurrect people from death. Correct? By the permission. No problem. No problem. Can't Allah give a permission to Moses to resurrect the person from death without using a cow? Mm -hmm. What the cow for? That was, yeah, okay. I'm with you. Couldn't Allah can do this and from the beginning and from the, the from the instant they found the body, okay, who was killed him and he who got resurrect him and tell them who killed me? Yes, I'm with you. But it was a test for the Jews. Oh, that is a when test. They, oh, that is a and test. And now I'll show you. Now I'll show you. Hmm. Now, they came up to Moses saying, we found a dead man. Okay, Moses, he, I will, okay, I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come with the news. Then hmm. he goes. Then he comes back. He said, kill a cow. And the Jews gone, well, a cow? What is a cow? What kind of cow? What is the color of a cow? They going stubborn with Moses. If you just kill the cow and Moses will tell you who's, who killed him, that's it. But that as you was see, the test for as the you Jews. see, my friend, yeah. as you just see, Moses. One, one, one minute, go brother. Ahead. Go ahead. If I could, if I could finish. Go ahead, Thank sure. you. If they did what they got been commanded, that's that's the bending their thumbs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that is the end of it. But they got stubborn. Okay, what kind of cow? What the color of the cow? Is this for grazing or something else? That stubbornness is what caused them to be away from the faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right. I, yes. I, 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 okay, I got you. But as you see, uh, Musa, he agree that they, there is, uh, because he went to Allah, and Allah did not say, neither Musa says, what kind of a question is question. So he just, it's okay. You need to know. Okay, so uh, Musa agree with them that he should know more information. But here, don't Allah, and knew what is in the mind of the people that they would ask questions like this. Why he don't give Moses from the beginning? And that will make it a real test. Okay, go and get a cow, have such a description. If the if the Jews refuse, then you know, and uh, why even Moses need to get them need them to get a cow? He can get a cow. Can't he get a cow? I mean it's a cow. We are not asking for like an uh, something coming from the sky, it's just a cow. Moses can go yes. and get a cow and he slaughtered the cow and he beat the guy with what I mean what what this is drama is for if all of it is just a cow you tell me 
go and get a cow okay i will go there's a market you know old days is very simple for buying animals not like now now you cannot go in the store and buy a cow but in the old days it's just you go to your neighbor and you buy a cow if you don't have one so why all this drama for and why allah he is saying in the in the verse if you if you say uh, with me it says and this is how allah he resurrect people from death this is how allah he do it that's mean as i understand it that this is how Allah resurrect people from death in the judgment day too. He will use cows. It sounds like, you know, I mean, if a, if a Hindu, he says to me, uh, cow is going to be used to resurrect people from death, I say he's a Hindu. But we are talking about Musas. What is the connection between, is there is a special power with the no. cow and the God of, all, of nice. Islam? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, making it that no one can resurrect only by the cows, this has not, not been said by any Muslim scholar, not so any. It was a test. That's why I showed you. If they are truth about knowing the death, okay, I'm going to let you know by my conditions, Allah's conditions. Mm -hmm. Kill a cow. And they said, what kind of cow? Now, at that moment, if they killed any cow, it should, it should, it should be suffice and got all over with the thing. But Allah knows what's in their hearts. Is stubbornness. They they are were stubborn and they were blaspheming against Moses so many times. They complained about Moses, so that mm -hmm. was a test, and they failed the test. Yes. I see. Uh, but if there is any prophet in history, the God of Islam gave him the option to use a cow to resurrect people from death. No, only only for that incident. Only Moses. But if you read with me here, it says. Uh, and this is how Allah He resurrected people from the death. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, in yeah. the same verse. Yeah. Okay. But, the one who was on the same incident. No, but He is confirming that Allah He used cows to resurrect people from death. This is this is how Allah He resurrected people from death. So the way for Allah to resurrect people from death is. Cow. It doesn't say that. It's in the front of you. There is no. Okay, now I'm, I'm saying there is no verse besides this verse, which is close to the incident. Yeah. That people will be resurrected by throwing cow meat on them. It, it does not say that. It was about the incident. That's the miracle happened. Okay. That it, it wasn't about the holy cow. It wasn't something holy in it. It was a condition for the test. And then the miracle happened by All Allah right. subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right, my friend. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that, that's, that's fine. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, the, the whole point of this is to discover a crime and the mystery of a crime, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, your prophet was accused that he stole a piece of a clothing. And the one who accused him, okay. it was the companion of Allah, prophet. And I think you know what I'm talking about. So, Can you bring the hadith? Uh, yeah, uh, th actually, this is not a hadith. This is a Quran. Oh. A verse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bring the verse. Chapter three, verse number one sixty-one, where the prophet he took a piece of a cloth, which is from the booty, and a bunch of a companion of Prophet Muhammad. They accused him that he stole it, and then Allah wanted to defend him, so He said, "It's not for a prophet to steal." Okay, I'm going to open the verse that you mentioned. Surah An-Nisa. It is Surah An-Nisa, correct? Uh, no, chapter 3, verse 161. Chapter 3 is going to be uh, uh, Al-Imran. Sorry. Yeah. Al-Imran, uh, verse, if I may. 161. 161 okay okay it's about the guess and the conjecture that the companion said 
ونزلت وما كان لنبينا يغل وما يغلل ياتي بما غل يوم القيامه ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون. ونزلت لما فقدت قطيفه الحمراء يوم احد فقال بعض الناس ان كونجكتشر نوت كونفيرمينغ لعل النبي اخذها. Then the verse have been said that it's not it's not the, the Nabi that who took it, confirming that he didn't took it. Right. That, that, that doesn't mean that the Nabi took it and they had the conjecture and then he returned it. doesn't mean that. It's erasing, denying that what they thought of. ونزلت إلا فقد اسقطيفة الحمراء يوم أحد فقال بعض الناس لعل You see, there is a conjecture. لعل النبي أخذها وما كان وما ينبغي لنبي أن يقول confirm from you, Allah. What, what you will mean? You will mean to steal, yes, right? Yes. I know, I know, brother. But okay. uh, let me get it in the, in the same context so that right. you can okay, right. understand me. لعل النبي أخذها in conjecture وما كان ما ينبغي. Allah is confirming that is it shouldn't be for a prophet that he could, could can take something out of the uh, out of war yaqul uh, is the the riches of the war that you no you can yaqul mean to steal yaqul mean to steal i know i know yeah but what what happened back then it was a war uh-huh. then they left their their goods uh-huh. and the the prophet and the companions gonna take these goods and they thought that uh, the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he took something We think so. That's why it said لعل النبي لعل. It's not confirming. It's a conjecture thing. وما كان النبي يقول that wasn't for a ma for a nabi for a prophet that he takes or steals. Allah subhanahu wa taala denying that a prophet will make that steal. Alright. يل يخون في الغنيمة فلا تظن به ذلك. I do not believe that who some of you have said that in conjecture, he didn't take it. So that confirms the denying of Allah of this statement. Wonderful. And it is was in conjecture, not in confirming way. Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, the reason actually I mentioned this to you, because in the case of Moses, when the guy got killed, Allah was willing only to resurrect a person from death so they can find who is the criminal. Why Allah don't do the same in the case of your prophet? Because if you read the verse with me, the verse actually confirm many things. Confirm that Allah do not know who took it. The verse did not prove that Muhammad did not take it. And the verse it might be made by Muhammad himself. Because now it says uh, it's not for a prophet to do something like this. But who is the one who took it? If Allah is God, And he is all knowing, all what he needs to say. Well, you know what? Go to the house of etc. person, go to his drawer, go to the room, etc., and you will find the piece of clothing missing there. So, Allah, he failed to find the thief, he failed to prove yeah. that Muhammad is not guilty. And actually, and this is mean Muhammad is not a prophet because how Moses, his God, according to your story was able to resurrect a person from death just to find a criminal. But here we have a criminal, and this is a bigger crime, actually, because you are accusing a prophet of God to be a thief, mm -hmm. correct? This is a bigger crime than a crime just against me or you. We are saying a prophet of God is a criminal. He is a stealing and he is betraying. And you are the one who use in Arabic the word yakhun, khana. Right, so in the in tafsir you did read, I heard you. So they accuse him to be betraying them. So this is a bigger crime. So why Allah did not say, okay, you know what, I will do what I did with Musa. Musa is not better than Muhammad. I will do a favor to Muhammad and show them that Muhammad is not a thief. So why Allah could not tell us? And until now we do not know who is the one who took that piece of clothing. So what the point of this verse? Nothing. How we know that nice. this verse is not made by Muhammad himself? Ah, okay, uh, now we can open a lot of chapters in the Quran that Muhammad didn't know about, and it is in the Quran. Uh, that that's a subject for other time. Yeah, but this is the, the, what I'm saying to you. Yeah. How we know that this is not from Muhammad just to make himself clean, saying Allah says it's not me. But shouldn't Allah say who is the one who took it? Okay, now what it says, and it wasn't for a prophet that he steals. Hmm. 
So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to the companions that they had the conjecture, questioning the conjecture itself, since you companions believe he's a prophet and you believe in that, since you believe he's a prophet and he believe he's a nabi, then you, you shouldn't think of that because you already believe he's a nabi. Just one minute, Prophet. No problem. Since you believe he's a prophet, how dare you? Or how could you consider in a conjecture that he's told? So it is for the companions that how, how dare you? How could you believe such a thing? And while you believe he's a prophet, it's, it's, it's going to the companions more than, okay, we, ha- we have to call, but this is the guy and this is who done it. Because it could be not anyone who stole it. It could be missed. It could be lost. So that's why it, it, it can be lost. So there is no one stole it. Yeah. So uh, this is, is a very good answer, actually. I like yeah. what you said. You just said yes. it could be, it could be that it's not Muhammad who stole it. It could be, but it could be it is Muhammad who stole it. So now the verse in the front of us, you are assuming because you are a believer that, okay, Allah, he said, so Muhammad is not the one who took it. But if the one is talking is Allah, shouldn't Allah say to us to clear Muhammad with no doubt that he is not him who took it? Is it hard for Allah to mention a name of a person so we can find him, we can punish him, and nobody will accuse the prophet? Because as you see now, 1400 years after, and I am asking you, what is the proof that it is not Muhammad? You give me a verse saying, it is not for a prophet to do that. But who said first he is a prophet? He claimed to be so. Secondly, who said that this is God talking to him? He claimed to be so. And now if I go to the court, Mr. Kareem, and if, if you are a judge, and I'm accused to be a thief, and then I say to you, my God told me to tell you there is no way for a Christian prince to be a thief. You will laugh at me. Do you agree? You will say okay. this is not a, you know, you say, what, this is not the proof. I say to you, my God, my God told me to tell you, and here we go a verse from me, which is God gave me, Christian prince is not for a Christian prince to steal. How that can clarify an issue like this? What is the evidence? So how come in the case of Moses, and you are the one who mentioned it, in the case of Moses, Allah, he describe a cow, bring the cow, slaughter the cow. It have to be a specific kind of cow. Beat the guy. The guy come back from death. He speak for a few minutes and then he die. He just told them the name of the guy who killed him and he died. Here, the story is very simple. A person, he took a piece of a clothing. Allah and Muhammad, they fail to clear the reputation of Muhammad for until now we do not know who took the piece of a clothing. What do you think? Nice. So, is there the verse? Is there a confirmation someone stole? Uh, as I said, the verse says it's not for the a prophet book. to do so. It's not for a prophet. But what is the proof? Thank you. What is the proof? Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, the verse doesn't say someone stole, and it wasn't Muhammad, and well, there shouldn't the prophet steal. It wasn't that, it was missing. تفسير الجلالين ونزلت هذه الآية نزلت لما فقدت قطيفة حمراء the, the red coating okay. when it got missing some of the فقال بعض الناس لعل even conjecture not confirming لعل النبي أخذها so Allah directs his speech to the companions since you companions believe he was a prophet ما كان النبي أن يقول it wasn't for a prophet for a nabi that he steals. So it is hearing the conjecture more than that Muhammad is not, it's not, he's the culprit. So it was lost, not in the sense of stole, someone stole. Yeah, but, you see what I mean? but, in, but here what I'm saying, look, you know, uh, uh, I understand that you are a believer and you're trying to convince me, of what, but you are repeating the same thing. Uh, remember, first of all, we are taking, talking about a piece of clothing. And then we have God who created this whole universe is involved now. Shouldn't Muhammad, first of all, have no companion? I mean, what kind of companions? They accuse their prophet, the best man of them, that he steal. Mm -hmm. You see, imagine no. if imagine if Peter, Peter accused Jesus that he is a thief. Imagine 
that John accused Jesus that he steal a piece of a clothing. Imagine that any of the disciples of Jesus, they accused Jesus of his stole iPhone. That would be a very horrible thing because if the companion accusing their best man to be a thief, then we need to ask ourselves what kind of a group they are and why the prophet was even a suspicious person by his own followers. Those are not the Jews. Those are not the Christians. Those are not the enemies. Those are the companions who just came with him from war, accusing their best leader to be a thief. And I don't want to be offending you, but it appears like all of them, they are thieves, and now they are fighting over a theft. And now the God of Muhammad, he failed to prove that Muhammad is not a clear. And all what Muhammad, he came to us with, Allah told me, it's not for a prophet to steal. Let me ask you, is it okay for a prophet to lie? Okay, can I address what you just said before the question? Th thank you. So you, you say there was an ac accusation. Can you find that accusation in the tafsir? You just told me the accusation. No need. That's it. I agree with you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what No, no I, actually, I, I, I agree with you. No problem. I know all the tafsir. But yeah, it, nice. But, 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 but doesn't change. You, but doesn't change you. anything. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm. I'm going to tell you why it does change a lot of. All things. right. Does this switch to other front of the camera? Uh, can I switch uh, it? If you want, you can tell me what, uh, okay. what what interpretation you want, and I can. All right, go ahead. Yeah, it's 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 tafsir al. Okay, let me get. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm in tafsir al jalalain. Yeah. ونزلت لم فوق الطفيط أظن حمراء يوم أحد فقال بعض الناس سامون هف سيد لعل سو لعل استين as an accusation accusation will be the prophet took it but لعل is might be so there's a difference between an accusation and a conjecture and in in the the bounties of war Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there is a percentage for him and there is a percentage for uh, the Muslim. Hmm. It will be divided between them. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does have a percentage for him from the goods of the war. Hmm. So they say uh, maybe Muhammad took it for uh, of his percentage. Yeah, let me, uh, I, I will, I, will, I, will I, I have a Jalalain, yeah. just to switch the camera to yourself. I have a Jalalain in front of me. It says, Go. ونزلت yes. لما فقدت قطيفة حمراء يوم أحد فقال بعض الناس لعل النبي أخذها وما كان ما ينبغي لنبي أن يغل يخون الغنيمة But that will not change anything. The Nas, the Nas are the people of Muhammad. Brother, brother, brother. فلا تظن so, so the difference between conjecture and accusation. Yeah, so my friend, my friend this is the, this is the tafsir. The tafsir accused already and says it's it is the prophet, maybe the prophet he took it. So the Muslim they put in their mind that it's highly possible that Muhammad is the one who took it. They did not say there's no way. And as you see, the story became so serious to the point Allah Himself is involving in the story. Yes. Right. Addressing who? Addressing who in Ad the verse? Addressing you. No, no, addressing the companions. Exactly, addressing you. I mean, addressing you, the Muslims, the companion. But the, well, that's mean the companion is the one is accusing the prophet to be a thief. If you say to me, they are not confirming you, or, or what you are saying to me, they are not confirming that he is. Uh, for sure, they did not see him. But the question okay. is, what kind of yes. companion, even they will think for a second that their prophet he will betray them and he will steal. Why Thank do you think about you. him in such a way? Thank you. That, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. It is addressing the companions. You already believe he's a prophet. And it was doesn't fit a prophet to steal. How dare you to think of that? So it is, was addressing the companions more than making Muhammad. No, he didn't steal. This is the culprit. Yeah. Yeah, so but, it's, but, it's, but still you are, you are not, yes, my friend, you are not, you are not answering. You are just agreeing with me. It's not for a prophet to steal. Who is the one who accused him saying maybe the prophet stole it? You know, even your tafsir saying, you know, 
I have a you do not need to show yeah, me by the way. I have Jalani in front of me. You can switch the yeah, camera to yourself. It is good. It is good. So, no, no, yeah, it I, is I can see it. Here we go. I can put it for you. I can give you the link too. Yeah, I, I have I have the it link. My friend. Yes. Yeah. It says Yahoo. So, so the companion yes. accusing their prophet that he betrayed them. This is a very ugly accusation from somebody believing Allah and his messenger. And that this is telling us that those believers they are not a high quality people because what kind of people accuse yeah. like now uh, Karim, they're saying you are with, with, the, with your prophet. Are you going to think for a second? And there's something missing in your house. Are you going to think for a second that the one who took it is your prophet? Be honest with me, uh, brother. Before we head to that, is there a difference between accusation and conjecture? Doesn't matter. They thought about him as a, as a possible matter. as a possible suspect. Why, why I, he is a yeah, possible suspect. Brother, why yeah. do I say that? Because there is a difference between Muhammad took it, then I accuse him, and the and the accusement is not in the Tafsir Jalalain even. فقال بعض الناس لا لا. It might be, and Muhammad already has a percentage in the bounty of war. Why 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 a, Muhammad he have a percentage of the bounty of war? Because he's a prophet. So what if he's he a does, prophet? He he's is the, the one who. He, he, yeah, he's the one who splits. Yeah, he's the one who spits the bounty of war between Muslims and him. How much? Because he's a How much? There is a percentage, I don't recall the percentage. Al Khumsu Lillahi wa Rasulu. Nice. Uh, the bounties of war, I think. The bounties uh -huh. of war. So, how are you doing? Come, come on, my friend. Uh, come here, you know. So, uh, why Muhammad will take the fifth? Yes. Isn't it this is too much? Nice. So, the Prophet, no, no, it's not about too much. What is the fifth? It's nothing. The fifth. What do you mean? From every five dollars, he would take one dollar. So if we go to yeah, war and we are ten thousand soldiers and we make a we make a hundred thousand soldier, that's mean every soldier of them he will get ten dollars. You know, if we make a one hundred, mm -hmm. every soldier would take ten dollars after Muhammad he take his percentage. So the yes. fifth, the fifth of uh, uh, of uh, one hundred thousand is twenty thousand dollar. So the prophet okay. will take twenty thousand dollars, and I will take ten dollars. Okay. Actually, it will not be even so ten. Will be the, not even seven. What is the problem with that? What is the problem? Well, with well that? that's mean Muhammad. He favored himself upon others, and he think he is uh, coming from different galaxies. So what if you are a prophet? Aren't you a Muslim like everybody? Right. So why you will take? And not only that, Muhammad. You don't even go to war. He stay home, and they go to war, and they are the one who die for the sake of the booty. And then, yeah, he watched from far uh, distance. Didn't he Muhammad watched. participate? Okay, in, he don't. In he don't war. He don't fight. Okay, show no, me. Show, show no. me the proof that Muhammad no. was involved in that war where they are fighting. Brother, hmm. didn't Muhammad? So you're 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 looking at our hadith right now. Didn't Muhammad وسلم, is was in Badr, in the Battle of Badr? And what he did in Badr, he was watching. <laughs> and they, <coughs> so somebody <coughs> throw a rock at him and it broke his teeth. Wait for me, brother. Okay. He participated. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He participated in Badr, and they won, and they they participated in Nuhud, and they lost. Give me a name of a person so, he killed in Badr. It's full in the Hadith, brother. Uh, you know, but, I, 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 so I, I, I will go with you. I will go with you. I I did serve in the army, my friend. I did serve in the army myself. Is that brother, is it's, that it's back and forth? Is that we legitimate? Don't cut each other. No problem. Is that legitimate that you will take twenty thousand dollar? And the soldier who is like you risking his life, he mm -hmm. will take less than seven dollars. Is it equal like seven dollars right. to twenty thousand dollars? Yeah, let's go to the army. You are an army man, right? You were a soldier. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't the army. I wasn't the army. You, you, you were a soldier. You yeah. were a sergeant. Uh, no, because I am. You know, like I have a degree, so you have ranks different. Anyway, different ranks. As your as your salary is the same as the commander. Yeah, but we, we, this, we are talking about about the booty. You see the difference? Yeah. Why? Because the commander yeah, is the, the one who leads, is the one who gets everyone ready, and he's the one who gets everyone the in line. The commander, the commander, maybe his salary is twice more than me. Twice Hold more up. than me. Twice. If, if I may, if I may finish. Okay. If I may finish. Uh -huh. The commander is the one who's responsible for the loss, for the win. So the commander is takes uh, most of the things, the khums. and why is that? Because he is the one who's uh, 
going to be uh, uh, responsible for losing or winning. He's the one who leads everyone. He fought battle with it in, in, uh, against the Mushrik. Okay. And there's another thing. And uh, there's another thing. If Muhammad وسلم, didn't have that income, shouldn't he go grazing, uh, uh, grazing animals and being a shepherd and being uh, going to the markets actually and asking for, to buy things and trade? Was so that, that income, that income made him sufficient to to spread Islam and have his whole time for okay. the Muslim. Okay. So the questions. So, uh, yeah. So you are Islam. so you are yeah. saying to me that an, a soldier who is a Muslim, it is sufficient for him to take a salary of seven dollars, but the profit, it's not sufficient to him to accept less than twenty thousand dollars because the the the. the the soldier too, he is a full-time soldier. He is fighting for him, risking his life. So if Muhammad is a prophet full-time, that guy is a, is a soldier dying full-time too. And then he have a family too. And he have kids. And Muhammad don't have kids. Muhammad, obviously he gets so rich. He's so wealthy to the point he has 13 houses and every house have many servants and slaves. So Muhammad, okay. he favor himself. And the reason I'm trying to say that to you, because all false leaders, they favor themselves in two things, major things, money yeah. and sex. And I want to ask you straight a straight question, my friend. And by the way, you yeah, are a nice yeah, person. Yeah. I really welcome you. Thank you. I'm so I'm ha so happy to have Even you. you. And please don't be offended. Thank you, thank you. Don't be offended of what I'm saying no, to go. you. But this is my belief. All right. So uh, cult leaders, they favor themselves always in sex and money. And they want from their followers two things, sex and money. Okay. So they will have a privilege in the money and they will have a privilege in sex. Do you agree with me that Muhammad, he have a privilege in both? Okay, let's go by that. So Muhammad marriages were nine. And the, the most 13. of the marriages, th 13, sorry, 13. Hmm. And the, no, nine wives. 13. No, not 13, brother. 13. No, nine wives. Yeah, you can count them for you. Go go, go back and study it. He yeah, had okay. nine wives. I'm sure you can you can, you can check it there yourself too. <laughs> I, I already checked, brother. Okay. Besides the number, it's okay. Huh. So most of his marriages were coalitions between the tribes. That what? he married the, the daughter of that tribe. And he married the daughter of this tribe. Hmm. It was the only one, Aisha, was the youngest of them that he married. So if he was looking for, what well, just you said, intercourse, or he wanted so much women, shouldn't he be he, his win all as young as he wants? And he didn't do that because they were old. They were old as him or older than him even. His first wife, Khadija, was older than him. Why didn't he ask for a younger wife? His marriages was a coalition to have the Arabs between them and have a big strong coalition by Ansab. I have a Nasab over that tribe, I have a Nasab over that tribe, they will make me, they will make me victorious, they will make me, they will defend me. That's mm. the, that's why he had so much women, but only one is young. That's a very good point, actually. Now, say, mm. thank you. Yeah. Now, let's go, but let's that, go let, to let, the Let me stop here. Let me, let, let me stop. Point. No, no, just, just uh, we will continue, we will continue, I promise you. I promise you, we will continue. Okay, but you, you just say so it. Right, but I have a point, I'm oh, you. Okay, go ahead. I really, I really do have a point. Okay. Now, the Christian crusaders, hmm. and the king is above, above of this army, and he goes in vain. Hmm. Does the king of the crusaders take less money than the soldier? Hmm. All right. So what you said to me that your prophet he used women in order answer me the question. in order to answer conquer. Me the question. I will answer. I will answer about the crusaders. I will answer. I will answer. Okay. I will answer. Okay. Okay. But one by one. So you are saying to me that your prophet is a bad person. He used women to be victorious. It's not Allah is in his side. Because, is that bad? Yeah. Because if he, if he is, you are just you just said to me. Everybody heard you. The prophet he married okay. women so he can be victorious. So they will join him. So if he is a prophet of Allah and Allah mm -hmm. is in his side, who need a woman to make him victorious unless this person, he is just using women. He don't, you just say it, not me. He did not marry them to marry them. He did not marry them to even have sex with them. He married them so he can have victory and he can have Coalition. more 
supporters. So now I'm going to marry the daughter of my neighbor because he have maybe 1,000 son. So now if I have a war, they will join me. And then I marry the other neighbor. He have 2,000 sons. So now I have more mm -hmm. sons. And now I will marry the neighbors from the different city. So now I'm using women. I don't really, I'm not marrying them. I'm using and abusing the word marriage. So you just said that your prophet, he don't believe in marriage. Yeah. He believe in abuse and use of people who don't really care for them. All what he care for mm -hmm. is to accomplish himself to be victorious. Secondly, nice. when nice. a prophet so of God, evil. when a prophet of God, he is going to go to war, is he granted victory by God or by the women he married from? When God, nice. he, when God, he grant victory to Moses, was that because Moses marrying 10, 20 women or because Moses, he was a granted victory for his people over the Pharaoh? Did, okay, nice. did any of the prophets of God before Muhammad try to okay, marry now, women in order to receive brother, brother, victory? Brother. You know, that's a lot of points. So mm -hmm. I need to stop you now. All right. You know, that's a lot of points. Go ahead. Now, I need to understand. When, when, I, when I said coalitions, did you understand that? Coalitions. Tell me what that is it? the head of the tribes today, the head of this tribe, mm -hmm. I'm marrying his daughter, mm -hmm. so I so I can spread Islam and have a coalition. When Muhammad sallallahu started his uh, uh, da'wah in Islam, he was a one man. Mm -hmm. Then he has a second, Abu Bakr. Then by time they gone farther, and then by winning coalition and marry, marrying the head of the tribes. Name for me one. Name the, for me one. The daughter. Just one, one minute, brother. Hmm. Marrying the daughters of the head tribes, it uh -huh. will make him stronger. And it was stronger for him. Right. And it made him win wars. Hmm. So it, it's, it's, it's not something that is bad. No, he's saying coalition. That's good for Islam. They became Muslims. He had the coalition. He had soldiers to defend Islam. No that is so that now. Is, so now, if nothing, I am, just if, one minute, one okay. minute. There's another point. There's hmm. another point. Hmm. Now I'm just a view to the, on this thing. The other thing you just said that Moses didn't marry. How many? How many wives did Moses have? You tell me how many. Not considered. Thank you. How many? But what was was one of them? No, no. Tell me, tell me how many. Did, did he marry women to go for war? Then uh, he, did he have a lot of uh, a lot of wives? He did. How many? How many? One tell me. Them? No, I don't know. That, uh, you tell me. I'm learning I, from I, you. Okay, he had a wife from the Prophet Shuaib. Uh huh. You know Shuaib. Where do you get this from? Yeah, this is the Quran. Uh, okay. that he well, you, who who cares about the Quran? Okay. And that even, 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 oh, hold on. Even if you say so, did Moses use women to accomplish a mission? Right. Brother, just let me finish. Mm. I'm still there is another point that you just say, and I didn't finish it even. Mm. Back then, Moses did have the Jews, and they were gonna support him, and they believed he's a prophet, and they did not support him when he gone to the uh, the uh, the Canaan, the Canaanites, the Palestinians. He told them, Let's go. The Palestinians. Yes. Here, if you, here, yeah, your God is the one who ordered Moses to kill the Palestinians. No, they, the the Jerusalem was occupied for by the Canaanites, and Moses was. Well, those are the Palestinians. Yeah, wait for me, brother. Okay. Wait for me. Yeah, they were called Canaanites, Canaanites. Mm. Okay, that was their name. Those are the Palestinians. Mm. Canaanites. That was the name for them back then. Okay. So he took the Jews and he said, "Okay, we're gonna fight. We're gonna have a war." Right. What did the Jews say? We're not gonna be in war. Why? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. go you and your God and free the Jerusalem. We're not going to be with you. Mm -hmm. So that's why they took like four, another four years be in, in the desert of Sinai because mm -hmm. they didn't fight the Canaanites. Because they refused why? to kill because the Palestinians. Not Palestinians, Canaanites, the My giants. Friend, you just said at that the time giants. they called them Canaanite. You just giants said that. Okay. What's the name Palestine back then at Moses? Okay, so you are agreeing that in the time of Moses there was no Palestinian there. Was was the name Palestinian no, no, back at I'm Moses? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. In the time of Moses, the Palestinians were exist or not? I'm I'm telling you, they were called Canaanites, and you so, can find that in your. So when you call them Canaanite, you are talking about Palestinians still. Brother, there was a time 
They didn't call them Palestinians. I don't care. Uh, this they, is the question. This is the question. I'm asking you. I, is the Canaanite is the same as the Palestinians? Are they? My brother. Yeah. My brother. They were called Canaanites. You know, you're not. You're not limiting me. Oh, you should call them Palestinians. I'm sticking for with your book. They call them Canaanites. I'm asking That's you. Why. I'm asking you as a Muslim. You are the sheikh, not me. According to your knowledge, is the Canaanite is the same as the Palestinian? Yes or no? As the same? Yeah. Are in they the same? Book, they were called Palestinians, brother. In your book, they weren't called Palestinians. So I'm, when I'm, they, I'm asking you, they, I'm asking you, when, are they the same ask, people or the Palestinians? Let me ask, brother. Just what if I could take one minute? Uh -huh. If they were called Palestinians back then, that the the book will reveal they, they were Palestinians. But what they are okay. names back in the back in that time, mm -hmm. Canaanites. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going straight with your book. Right. Okay. I'm not going for anything else. Okay. That's wonderful. But look, look what happened now. Brother, brother. Okay. Because your book is what you believe in. That's what I'm bringing from your own book. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. But th what does this story have to do with my question? I ask you, did any prophet he used women to get to have victory? When I said Musa, I said, did Musa use women to have victory over the Pharaoh or any his enemies? Did any prophet, he did marry 1,000 women in order to make victory. In Islam only, we find the stories which is very funny and very weird. As an example, according to your prophet, uh, 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 there is a guy, he is a Jew, and he decided to uh, have uh, uh, to sleep with 100 women. So in the morning, he would have 100 kids, and then they will go and do jihad. So you see this logic only work with Muslims. So my question is for you. When you said to me that the prophet did not marry women for the sake of marrying women, he married women for the sake of establishing Islam. And this is your words, establishing Islam. So Islam established not by a decent person, established by a person who play politics, play games of politics, like kings in this time, you know, or in the old days, I will marry the daughter of this king so we can join against that king. And now because we became relative, that's what you said to me. But where is the God of Islam in this story? That's mean Muhammad, he had victory because of his plans, not because of Allah granting him victory. And thank you very much for confirming that. That's mean Muhammad is a false prophet. Okay, you're, you're taking my words and you use them against me. Sure. But I'll tell you what led me. Okay, mm -hmm. just don't cut me, brother, if, if I may. You're the one who said in the first beginning, mm -hmm. ah, the, the cult leaders, they want money, they want women. That's mm -hmm. why they go for women and money. Then I told you, and I showed you, the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he married the nine women, some of them, and a lot of them, were coalition. I married this daughter of this head of the tribe, and this one. They will become Muslims, they will be close to me, and they will fight with me. So I need you to bring something. No, that is bad. How could Muhammad do that? And I showed you. His, most of his marriages was a coalition to grasp the other tribes with him to make Islam victorious. You grab that, oh, it is what's bad. So your sense, it's your thinking, your misunderstanding. That's for you. For us Arab, no, that's a great thing to do. Well, I am an Arab and too. I am an Arab too, not another only you. Thing. I am an Arab, and I'm, I'm an Arab more than you. Where are you from? So my, my friend. Where are you from? My friend. No, no, from? no need to know where I'm from. I'm asking where you. Where are you from? I am an are Arab. You, are you? I am an Arab. Yeah, where are you from? And an Arab. I'm from Kuwait. Where are no you from? problem. Maybe, maybe your neighbor. Maybe, maybe. I'm asking. Yeah, I'm from? asking you. I will not say. Forgive me. I will not say. I'm, ask, <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm uh, from the Arabian Peninsula. When you say you are an Arab, and this is for the Arab, is an honor. Are you saying yes. you have no problem if somebody, with my respect to your family, marry your daughter just to use her to get a job? Let us say you are a prince yes. of Kuwait. Yeah. Let us say you are a prince of Kuwait. And now there is a person, he want to marry your daughter because she's your daughter. You are the prince. And now if he marry your daughter, he will have a power. He will have authority. So... Are you okay. okay with somebody using your daughter? Not because he's not marrying her because he loves her, not because he respects her, just because he wanna use her. Are you supporting such a thing? With my respect to your daughter, are if you, you have saying, any. Are you saying okay, okay, I get your I get your point. Are you saying Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married the wives 
for just uh, he didn't love them. This is what you say, not me. You said to me, no, he married them for coalition. You assume that. No, my friend. Yes, it was. It was a coalition. It is a big coalition. Okay. But did Muhammad love them or not? Can you can you prove that? All right. Well, we have tons of proof. Your prophet, he like only one woman. Her name is Aisha. Bring, bring me one proof that Muhammad didn't love his woman. No problem. You never heard of Muhammad and the wives of Muhammad complain about him being injustice when he favor Aisha in the gifts. All the gifts they go to the house of Aisha. So they send even his daughter Fatima. I didn't say I didn't say favoring. I said naming one he didn't love. Well, obviously he did not love any of them because if you don't treat them equal. Your proof. What is your proof? Hold on. Isn't it the Quran says that if you want to marry, your proof. Uh, here, your here, proof. Here, here is the proof. The proof that his okay. wives they go against him and they are so upset and all what they are asking him, can you be please? Justice, they are not asking him for to favor any, they are saying to him, Can you be justice? So, when you say to me now, you are agreeing, obviously, that Muhammad uh, he favor Aisha. Our our discussion, our last statement from you, oh. I told you, bring me one he didn't love, didn't favor, didn't love. Well, did he threaten Sauda to divorce? You her? don't have that. Okay. You don't have that problem. Or, all right, let's go to the Quran then. Isn't it? This is your Quran, <laughs> my friend. This is your so, this is your Quran, my friend. This is your Quran. Can can we and, can we do, you didn't bring a proof for that? Okay. Can we acknowledge that? I will give you proof. Here we go. I will go to the Quran. I will not even use no, okay, hadith. No, no. I, I will use no. the Quran. Okay, here we go. So you're a prophet. He was going, he stopped going to the house of Sauda. Why? Because now she is not beautiful, and now he likes the young ones as usual. In chapter, bring a verse? in chapter 4, verse number 128. And it will be a Nisa verse 128. 128. Go. Go, brother. Go ahead. Tell me what this story is about. Now, you are the NATO accusation. So tell well, us. You can read the interpretation of Ajalalain, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, whatever you want. Chapter 4, verse number 128 is about Sauda, ah. specifically about oh. Sauda. And then Muhammad, Aisha, because Aisha is in control, he is not being just between the wives. Aisha, she told Sauda, I can let him stay, keep you as a wife, if you agree to give me your day. So she blackmailed her, poor woman, she is old, and now she is going to be thrown in the street just because she is old. And you are the one who said to me, that the prophet he married women in order to do and make a coalition was Sauda is okay. part of the coalition and now we used her and now it's time to throw her in the street okay the coalition thing i told you when you said you know he lost for women every leader every cult leader lost for money and women yeah then i told you it was a coalition and then you told me he didn't love them and i told you bring a proof that you don't love them mm. so brother you're escaping so many times that you're not honest with me you see every time i said I, you I want your women i, I said yeah one minute, brother. <laughs> every time i refer to you jump to another thing what? i'm okay. refuting to you every time now okay. let's go for this first uh -huh. verse 128 now if a woman if a woman Mm. Is, there, is there is there is the name there so the bin mm. or is it if a woman mm. is afraid from her husband Nishuza that he hates her mm -hmm. or that he doesn't look at her uh -huh. there is nothing upon them uh -huh. they make a, a treaty between them they get back again alone wonderful so where does it the word from where do you take it that it was so the bin from the it was if okay. a woman you you are the one who said to me you read a jalalain 
Okay, and you are okay. What about Jalalain, Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, whatever you want? Brother, you just. I'm in the Jalalain and I'm gonna show you now. Brother. All right. Okay, let me make this like this. No need, I will open a Jalalain from my side. No, no, no. Just to be sure, guys. Uh -huh. We are Muslims, I'm gonna show you. All right. Kathir Jalalain, is it? Kathir Jalalain? I will open a Jalalain from my side so people can read it better. وإن امرأة مرفوع بفعل يفسر أي خافة that she got scared توقعت expected from okay I'll go I'll go English and who knows Arabic you just read in Arabic guys that she afraid that he expected from her husband or that نشوزه نشوزه means that he didn't like her he didn't he goes away from her أي yeah بتركي that ترفع عن عليها بتركي that he left her for أعوذ بالله this word كانت so he left her her bed he didn't go come with her in bed and it is والتقصير في نفقتها اللي يبغضها وطموح عينيه إلى أجمل منها إلى أجمل منها أو إعراضا عنها بوجه فلا جناها عليه ما يصالحها فيه إدغام التاء في الأصل في الصاد وفي قراءة يصلح أو يصلح من أصلح بينهما. So والفرقة والنشوز والإعراض قال تعالى في بيان ما جبل عليه الإنسان وحضرة الأنفس الشرح شدة البخل أي جبلت عليه فكأنها حاضرته حاضرته لا تغيب عن المعنى أن المرة لا تكاد تسمح بنصيبها من زوجها والرجل لا يكاد يسمح عليها بنفسه إذا حب غيرها. وإن تحسنوا عشر وإن تحسنوا عشرة النساء وتتقوا الجور عليهم this is الجور عليهم that you don't oppress them فإن الله كان بما تعملون خبيرة فيجازيكم به so where is the mention of سودم تزمعة in this interpretation let us see I will put it in the front of you Give me a second. Take your whole time, brother. Uh, let's see. I will give you a link, and if you don't mind, you open it from your side, so you can uh, you can read it. Link. Okay, give me a second. If please. I open a, if I open a link, will it will the Skype go away? Uh, uh no. Uh, uh, you are using your phone, right? Okay, give me a second. Hold on. Yeah, I'm using my phone. All right. Okay, can you open the same website you are using? You are using the website of Saudi Arabia, correct? No, no. E, e Quran. Let me show you. It doesn't. Sorry. It's so small that it doesn't have a focus. All right. I'm going to copy this for you and you read for me. And you tell me if this interpretation is false. Go. And here we go. Look in the chat in Skype, my friend. I will give you, I will send you a chat. All right. Read for me what it says here. And tell me if a Christian prince is telling the truth that this is about soda. Read my chat. Okay, brother, you just brought me a text. Yeah. This is from the tafsir. Okay, what is, no, bring me the tafsir itself. Here we go. And this is the link. Go ahead. Open the link and read it and take your time. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. No, no, don't give me Saudi Arabia. Bring when, me a sheikh. Why not Saudi Arabia? Because Saudi Arabia is a sheikh, is a... Ibn Kathir. Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Yes. If you say Saudi Arabia, 
No, I won't take it. I want the tafsir Ibn oh, Kathir. Okay, Ibn Kathir. I gave you Ibn Kathir. Yes, not the Saudi Arabian version. My friend, okay, give me Ibn Kathir, your version. Go ahead. Okay, let me... Let me why, why do I... Another tafsir from my my end. What what is the website you are using so I can open it too? Uh, e Quran. E Quran. Okay, let me let me just write here tafsir. Tafsir. What is e Quran dot me. All right, let me open it from my side. E Quran dot me. Uh, Well, I open it, it shows only recitation of the Quran. All right, here we go. Do you see it? It says, فَلَمَّا كَبِرَتْ وَلِهَادَ لَمَّا كَبِرَتْ سَوْدَ بِنْتُ ذَمَعَ عَزَمَ uh, You see it? It's in the front of you. You said to me, where it says that? Where do you get this from? It's in the front of your face. So, she made her give her day to Aisha. So this okay. this verse is about your prophet, and you are the one who said to me, "Where do you get this from? Where, where? There's no way the prophet. This is this is not about the prophet. You rejected that totally, and I can show it to okay. you from from a hundred tafsir, not only one, not only two, not only three, and this is even yeah, there's, a, there's a hadith in Sahih al Bukhari about it. يقول تعالى مخبرا مشرعا من حال الزوجين تارة في حال نفور رجل عن المرأة وتارة في حال اتفاقه معها وتارة في حال فراقه لها فالحالة الأولى ما إذا خافت المرأة من زوجها أن يرفن عنها ويعرض عنها فلها أن تسقط عنه حقها أو بعضه من نفقة أو كسوة عون أو مبيت أو غير ذلك من حقوقها عليه وله أن يقبل ذلك منها فلا حرج عليها في بدلها ذلك له ولا عليه في غبوله منها ولهذا قال تعالى فلا جناح عليهما أن يصلح بينهما صلحة ثم قال والصلح خير أي من فراق وقوله وحضرت النفس الأنفس الشح أي الصلح عند المشاحة خير من الفراق ولهذا لما لما كبرت سودة بن زمعة عزم الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على فراقها فصالحت على أن يمسكها وتترك يومها لعائشة سي so the so, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, see? Yeah, he wanted the, the, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 he commanded Sauda and Zam'a, let the day Aisha is before you. So what is no, the problem? No, no, it says, it says why you said to me first that this verse is not about Sauda and about Muhammad. Did you say that? You deny it totally. Because, so yeah, it is about Sauda. It is about Sauda. No, no, it's not about Sauda. It's, it's, it's an incident happened for the same verse. No, no, it says about Sauda. This verse, you know, go to the book of Asbab and Nuzul. This verse came down because the Prophet, he decided. If I, may, if I may, brother, if I may just talk in it and then you can repeat after me. Mm. The whole verse doesn't say Sauda and Prophet Muhammad as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, a text. It doesn't say that. It what says about someone, a man. Wait for me, wait for me. It says about a man and a woman, if there was no, uh, there was a Arab or there was. I, and she is afraid from her husband that he may looked after someone who is much beautiful than her. Hmm. Is that the case? In Muhammad's Wasallam case, then he brought something that happened. وَالصُّلْحُ خَيْءٍ أَيْ مِنْ فِرَاقٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم لما كبرت كبرت سودة نزامعة عزم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على فراقها that he will divorce Divorcer. فصالحته على أن يمسكها leave me وتترك يومها لعائشة. Okay, just leave me and my day when I, when you should come to me, I leave it to Aisha. فقبل ذلك منها. 
and he awaqaha ala dhalik so what's, what's, what's the wrong with this but as you see so this, this is about soda you keep saying to me this is about soda is the the verse for everyone and there's an incident that happened no problem but this verse part. came because of muhammad and now you say to me show me the proof that muhammad he did not like his wives or he was not fair to his wives and or he you know he he, he only likes certain wives like the young ones here we go this is a great example she is old she became heavy she became old and why muhammad will go and sleep with the old women when he have a small young little child like aisha and look what happened now look how ugly even more how in the world he agree that a woman she can be his wives his wife but he will punish her by not sleeping with her so she can it's stay not a, not a punishment it's a punishment. it's a punishment according to Brilliant. islam according to islam if a woman actually she her husband is not sleeping with her that's mean he is not fulfilling his duty as a husband do i agree well where the tafsir says it's a punishment bring me well here we go the woman she did not choose that but you know she is afraid she will be homeless your prophet he married her when she was younger and now he will dump her in the street because now she's old and now aisha she took advantage of this point she said to her listen i'm going to keep him i will convince him to keep you you keep me give me your day and you did read that and the verse is about muhammad and i have even a hadith from the a sahih hadith saying that this verse came exactly about Aisha, let me give it to you. And Wait, Aisha, the one. The state of the hadith? What is the state of the hadith? Sahih. No. Here we go. Okay, open it. I will give you the link in the front of everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Hasanun Gharib. No, no, no. Read this one. I'm, I'm giving you no. I'm giving you this one. I'm giving you. I'm giving you this one. No. Wait, my brother. Wait. This is this is a big deal. You you brought me. My this. friend, my friend, Sahih al Bukhari is not is not is. You are reading a different you, you, one. You are reading a different wait one. Wait for me. Wait for me, brother. Okay. okay. You're the one who gave me the link. Even. Mm -hmm. You're the one who said no. Go to Bin Kathir. You'll find a different but thing. This is not al Bukhari. Wait for me, my wait friend, for me. you are no, quoting listen. different, different things. Brother, brother, you said you, brother, you told me even Kathir, you told me. Yeah, but you are reading, you are not I, reading I, the hadith. You are not reading the hadith. Let me show you. Wait for me. Wait for me. My I friend, the hadith. Wait my friend, friend, the the, the one, the one the it says Gharib is the brother. one reported by a Turmudi, not Al Bukhari. Do you know how brother, to read Arabic, my friend? Do you know how to read Arabic? I have it in the front of me. It says, Warawahu Turmudi and Muhammad bin al Muthanna and Abi Dawood at Tayalisi, Bihi Waqala Hassan on Gharib. You are in different hadith now. So listen, listen carefully. I just gave you, I just gave you a Sahih hadith. Read it. Do you know the difference between Hassan Gharib and a Sahih? My friend, Hassan is Hassan, mean good. So what is the okay, Sahih? Hassan mean, Hassan mean good. And now I gave so you another hadith. I just gave you a link. Other hadith, brother, brother, my friend. Brother, I gave you. Brother, there is no need to wait, waste wait, our time, wait. my friend. No, 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 no. Wait, open wait, wait, the Sahih wait, wait. hadith. Okay, I gave you a Sahih wait, hadith. You wait. are asking for a Sahih brother, hadith. You have talk. You have talk. You have talk, brother. Now let me explain. Mm. Wait a minute. We have four categories for the mm. hadith: uh -huh. Sahih, correct, uh -huh. Hassan, uh -huh. we raif, weak, uh -huh. mawdu. Uh -huh. Have been that has been mawdu. How do you say mawdu? Mm. It was put there in the hadith. Mm -hmm. So it is what Hassan okay. Gharib, just like I'm showing you right now. Hassan okay. Gharib. Can you read? Can you continue reading? Is, can you continue wait reading? For wait for me. Wait for me, brother. Wait for me. <laughs> so if if there is a doubt okay. in the hadith itself, so it it can be between a Sahih and a Hassan. All right. Can you continue reading? Does okay. it say underneath? فَلَمَّا كَبِرَتْ سَوْدَ بِنْتُ دَمَعَ وَفِي الصَّحِيحَيْنِ in the authentic. Read it. Go go down. Don't stuck there. Go down a little bit. It says, وَفِي الصَّحِيحَيْنِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ هَاشِمْ بِبْنِ عُرْوَى From his father, عَنْ عَائِشَ قَالَتْ لَمَّا كَبِرَتْ سَوْدَ بِنْتُ ذَمْعَ وَهَبَتْ يَوْمَهَا لِعَائِشَ فَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَقْصُمُ لَهَا بِيَوْمٍ بِيَوْمِ سَوْدَ وَفِي صَحِيحِ الْبُخَارِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ الزُّهُرِ عَنْ عُرْوَى عَنْ عَائِشَ ونحوه وإن امرأة خافت من بعلها نشودا أو إعراضا 
وذلك أن سودة كانت امرأة قد أسنت ففزعت أن يفارقها رسول الله وظنت بمكانها منه وعرفت من حب رسول الله لعائشة read this is a صحيح and now I give you from جامع الترمذي in front of you the link mm -hmm. open the link this is صحيح حديث جامع الترمذي says that عائشة here we go let me show it to everybody so everybody can read in English and Arabic Sauda feared that the Prophet was going to divorce her. So she said, don't divorce me, but keep me and give me uh, my day to Aisha. Not so, take me, not take me, give my day for Aisha. So give, yeah, give my day to Aisha. So he did so, and the following was revealed. Then there is no sin on both of them. You said to me, this is not about Sauda. No. The, the verse it doesn't say Muhammad and Sauda. Then the incident. No, is you said to me, you said to me, hadith. show me the proof that this is about Sauda. You deny totally. You said this is about everybody. You say you deny totally that this is about Sauda. So th this is Sauda. Okay. Now she became old, and your prophet, he don't like her no more. And now she noticed mm -hmm. that he is going to divorce. I can show you other hadith where it says it clearly that the prophet is stopped even going to her house because now she is old. So your prophet, he married them. He have fun with them. When they are young, when they are old, he don't want them no more. He will dump them in the street. And now this poor woman, she don't know what to do. And Aisha, she took advantage. So she made her give the day to Aisha. Is that fair? To is take, a to give a day to a woman. This is, this is, this is, this is your wife. I want to ask you, I want to ask you, why he want to, why he want to divorce her? Okay, nice. Now, is there a debate in the hadith that is between Sahih and between Hassan Gharib? Is there a debate? You are reading there, and there is other hadith says Sahih. You stuck with the is Hassan. The Hassan is still good. Is it? No, Hassan and Gharib. Either. No, Hassan is Hassan good. That's why it's called Hassan. It doesn't say the if. What does it, what does it mean, Hassan Gharib? Mean good. Hassan Gharib, what does mean it mean? Good. Gharib, what does it mean, Gharib? Mean it's strange. Thank you. Okay. It is a strange. Yeah, it is a strange, it's strange thing that it's, happens it's, on the it's, it's strange because of Thank what? Thank you. Okay, hold on. So there is a debate. You know, you, there you is are a saying debate about the hadith. My friend, you are saying you are a sheikh. So, you just admit it. You did just admit it that Gharib, the one I'm showing right now, hmm. Hassan Gharib, it is a strange thing to have this hadith. No. Thank you. You do not know what strange mean. <laughs> strange, Gharib. There, there is okay, hold on, Gharib. hold on. You are a sheikh, Brother. right? What is this word, brother? You, you, what is you this are word? a sheikh. You are a sheikh, brother, right? Brother, what is this word? What, what, what is this word, What brother? hadith gharib mean? According what is this to Islam. Word? Brother, what? gharib, what does it mean? What does it mean, gharib? In Arabic, means strange. But according to the hadith... Thank you. Okay, what hadith Thank mean? you. The hadith is strange. And there is a debate upon it. No. Hadith gharib mean <laughs> that it's reported... No. That's it, brother. You, you, you see, you are claiming to be a sheikh, but you do not know what it's mean. Like... It is says here that this person he reported the hadith from son from 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 and this person cannot be like is not is not a, is not a person who report hadith usually so he brother, is the gharib brother. he is a strange it's not the hadith is a strange brother. and even if the hadith is strange even if the hadith is strange the hadith author says it's sahih so look what Thank you did you. look then, what you did you, know, you, you, you are like a person you are like a person now he went inside are, the wall and the, and the wall have we 1, did acknowledge. nails we, we did acknowledge guys uh, brother brother then we do acknowledge right now there's a debate upon the hadith no sahih al-bukhari do you see sahih al-bukhari you are in sahih different hadith in the bukhari no al-bukhari is not gharib the hadith so al-bukhari al al is not gharib so there is a debate upon it no my friend, is Al-Bukhari <laughs> is a Gharib Hadith? There is a debate, brother. Huh? There is. They, is Al-Bukhari. You are reading hadith. different Hadith. Can, is, I just made yes. you read the second one. You are stuck with the first one. Brother. You are you are like brother, a person brother. is drowning, and now you are stuck with this one. It says Gharib. It says Gharib. But the second one is Sahih brother. al Bukhari. Brother. It is Sahih. Is and there, in the, hold on. Does it say in the front of you? Wafi Sahihain okay, in the, like in the two authentic. Does it say Wafi Sahihain min Hadithi Hashim bin Urwa? Does it say in the Sahih or no? Thank you. Can I respond now? Yeah. Does it say Sahih or not? Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Just don't cut me, brother. If if I may. So there is a dispute 
Between no, there's the no dispute. Wait for you me. are stuck Wait with that me. one. Wait you see, you are trying you, to brother. escape. I, I am giving brother. you, forget about this one. Does it say in the Sahih I'll wait that again. it says I'll this? Wait again. I'll wait again. I'll wait again, brother. My friend, why, you. why are you, why no, you stuck with that one? Why you don't want to read the one which it says clearly I'll, it is I'll Sahih? I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. You finished? Why do you want to answer? Does it say Sahih or not? Can I, can I, can I speak now? Go ahead. Thank you, brother. Now, in the Tayalisi, a Tirmidhi, or a Tirmidhi, and Muhammad ibn Muthanna, and Abi Dawood, okay, Tayalisi, Bihi, Wakal, Hassan Gharib. So there is a dispute between a Sahih and a Hassan Gharib. Okay, you know what? This one, throw it in the garbage. This wait one, for me, brother. Wait friend, for me, brother. My friend, this one, you throw it in the garbage. Please throw it in the garbage. What about the second one? Is it Sahih or not? Can you wait for me? Please, brother. Is the second hadith like sahih or not? Just like I waited for you. I wish that you have the same patience. But, be, but because you could. insist, you're stuck there. You don't want to move. Okay, can I can I finish my talk? Okay, I will, Just, I will, you know, my friend, my friend, I agree with you. That's it. It's gharib. But is this is the second I, hadith sahih or not? Can I finish, brother? Can I finish? Oh, boy. Okay, go. Just, thank you, brother. Let me finish and I'll listen to you. And I listen to you so many times. All Just, right. Patience, brother. Go ahead. So, عن الترمذي. وروى الترمذي عن محمد بن مثنى عن أبي داود الطيالسي به وقال حسن غريب. So there is a dispute in the hadith. Is it is it حسن غريب or is it صحيح? A scholar of Bukhari says it is صحيح. The others, الطيالسي, الترمذي, and and there is a narration about ابن داود about the طيالسي that he says it is حسن غريب. So since there is a dispute. Then the the authenticity of the hadith is questioned. Mm -hmm. Now, now we will leave that between the spirit between them. Now, if, when you bring a verse, now the Quran, or let's say my biggest argument is not the hadith. My biggest argument is the Quran. Can you bring something from the Quran that contradicts the Quran? All right, but uh, I, I just gave you a link. Can you open it? Brother, bring a verse and I'll open the I just gave you a link. Sorry. It says that the same hadith you are arguing about is sahih. Secondly, I ask you, is the second line, it says Al-Bukhari, it is authentic? It says authentic. So this is what you do. You are stuck with the one which you think is going to help you. But in the same page, it says according to the sahihain, which means not only one sahih, which means Al-Bukhari and Muslim. This is about Brother. Sauda. Does it say, please, does it say, okay. am I lying? Am I lying? Does it say, okay. sahihain? am I adding things is not there, my friend? Or this is what it says, read with me carefully. It says, okay. So does it say sahihain or not? It says sahihain. So now we have no excuse. You said that one, there's a dispute about it. No problem. But the second one, it says, according to the two authentic sahih, not only one. And it is authentic. So what you do, you stuck with the one you like, and not only that, even the one you stuck with it. I send you a link. It says this is Sahih. It is not. There's no dispute about it. Here we go. I show it in the screen, and I give you the link. You can open it. Here we go. It says okay. Sahih. Everybody can see it, my friend. So there's no dispute. Okay. Muslims agree with it because there's no disagreement between this hadith and other hadith. All of them agree. It's about Sauda. And about Aisha, and now let us go back okay. to zero. Let's go back to zero. So, do okay, you wait, agree? Wait, wait. Do you agree with Al Bukhari? Do you agree let, with let Al Bukhari? Me, let me let me comment on what you just said, uh -huh. if if I may, brother. Go ahead. So you're saying there is no dispute, and they all agree. Do you see all agreement? Yes. There is no all agreement. No. Brother, read read, the, read the, the hadith after it. Brother, it says they speak. agree. Brother, I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak, brother. I'll let you speak, <laughs> okay. if I may. Right. Now. You say there is no dispute. They all said it. No, I showed you. There is, they say Hassan Gharib. There is in the Bukhari that it's Sahih. But since there is, there is a dispute. Then okay, I'll leave it at that dispute. Now, even if you if you just bring that and show that, does that contradict the Quran? Does that break the Quran? No, it doesn't. If you want to contradict the Quran, bring a contradiction in a verse between a verse and a verse. Which I have a lot of contradictions in your Bible. Mm. 
So the, my biggest argument is the Quran itself. All right. Can you bring a contradiction? I'm not so. I'm not saying contradiction. I just showed you that the Quran teaches you that you can be a person who play games and you use women and you dump them when and you I want. And I showed you there is a dispute. No, the hadith that no. You here there we go. And this is Sunan Ibn Dawood. I will give you different hadith, and you are refusing are, to are open them one by one. Here we go. Let me give you another one. So, my friend, I can give you, I can give you an endless, an endless hadith. All of them, they are sahih, and you are refusing to read them. Obviously, you don't want to read them because it's an embarrassment. I want to ask you, why the <laughs> As prophet? As you wish, call me, call okay. me whatever you want, Best brother. Okay, in, on the front of everybody, in the front of everybody. Want... Why Ibn yeah, Kathir I... and why Aisha? She is saying this is about Sauda. Okay. I don't want to go in the loop that we keep talking the same subject because this is going to be boring, brother. All right. This so let's go. Okay. Oh, you know what? I will, I will change the subject for you as long as you are a person who, men, who mentioned to me contradiction. But me. But I, I wanted to finish something. Did your prophet, brother, he, did your prophet he brother, offer himself? Brother, wait, uh. wait, brother. If we go in the loop and the same thing and I say something and you say something and we are stuck there. Okay, we will, we will leave that to the people. You know, we have the link, we have the we, we have the reference. People they can judge between me and you, and God can judge. No problem. Let's be, let's bring a topic. All right. Well, the no, we did not finish. We did not finish. You say it. We say it. You remember that a cult leader, he always have a privilege of sex and money. We prove that he have a privilege of money, and now you are trying to say he have no privilege of 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 sex. And the reason he married many women. Because simply he was trying to accomplish Islam, so he used women. Now I'm gonna ask you: Did Muhammad make a verse says any believing woman she can offer herself to the Prophet, so the Prophet can sleep with her? Now we go in the same loop, and I will no. go with you for no. a moment. For a moment, I will go with you. In the first beginning, you said a cult leader is he wants money and women. That's what the cult leader does. Right. Then I showed you some of brother. Some of the managers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a coalition. When I told the coalition, oh, there is this was coalition, he didn't love them. Then I told you, bring some hadith that he didn't love them. You brought me this one, that he didn't love uh, Sawd ibn Zama'a. So, and I brought you, there is a dispute in that hadith. So and I brought to you, you, and I brought to you that this is Sahih brother. hadith. Wait for me, and I brought you Bukhari, brother. and I brought to you Muslim. Brother. And still, you brother, are not going to agree. Brother, no problem. And brother, brother, you have make a theory. Let me finish. I let, you, I let you always finish. You are brother, repeating the same you thing. Finish. You are repeating the same thing. I'm repeating because because you brought this this thing up again. No. Wait for me. I'm asking about different verse, chapter thirty three, verse number fifty. The prophet he said, "Any believing woman, she can offer herself to the prophet." What does have to do with God? Brother, this is a loop, and we're not gonna get out of the loop. No, no, no. Okay, we are we are speaking I, about I, different I, verse I, now. And why then, why his God? Why his God? Muhammad now he have 13 wives. And you said to me that the reason he was have those wives is just to accomplish politics and war and victory. No problem. But now this verse for what? A believing woman, she just, can offer herself to the Prophet. For what? We just spent one hour and a half in that discussion. It's already untaped. So, you don't already, wanna, already, so, you don't... so are you saying you cannot answer the last but we will we'll switch I promise you this is the only verse I, I, I will promise it's you I promise you in the front of everybody no just to... answer this one what does have to do with God why does God is worry about Muhammad he have 13 wives he have tons of sex slaves and now any believing woman she offer herself what that will do to Muhammad why he's doing that why any woman she offer herself did we lead up to Hassan and Gharib and Sahih? Do we lead up to no, that? No, we don't agree because I gave you Sahih. Then thank you. We don't agree. Then you you don't like my no, answer. No, it's not up to you. Show. It's not up to you. I gave you Al Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari. I gave you Sahih Muslim. And okay, in the same page, in, in the same agree. page, we want to in the same brother. page, my friend, even the even brother. the hadith, brother. you say even the hadith, you say it's brother. Gharib. This is your website saying it is brother. Sahih. Did we did we reach a dispute in that? At the end, we disputed. No, now that's it. no, you did not. Now, you did not. You are just trying to escape it. So I will let it go. I'm asking you now, chapter thirty-three, verse okay. number fifty. What is the purpose is of a prophet? He receive a verse from his God says, "Any woman she can sleep with the prophet." What is that? Chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty. Okay, after this one, can I put a point? About the Bible after this one. No problem. Okay. Uh, let's go. Chapter 3. 50. 
I believe in women, she offer herself what is that for? What is the purpose of it? Tell, tell us, go ahead, I'm listening. Yes. What is the purpose of this verse? Yeah, what is the problem with this verse? Okay, it says, you see, we agreed that cult leaders, they want two things, money and they want women. This verse saying, Muhammad, now he have tons of wives. And the top of that, any believing woman, she can offer herself. I'm asking you, you are saying to me, what's wrong with this verse? This is a proof that Muhammad is a cult leader. Because he is making claim that God, he sent him a verse, says, Hey girls, if you want to sleep with the Prophet, just line up. The Prophet is here for you. What is the nice. what does have to do with God? What does have to do with religion? What does have to do with being a prophet? Already you have tons of wives. Why he want more? Okay, nice. Since since you mentioned that Muhammad Sallallahu had so many wives, that that's why he's a cult leader by having so many wives. Is that your argument? No, my argument is oh, okay. he is fabricating a verse claiming. You see, he, he this is not him doing that. He claiming that God is telling him that, and he is telling the believers, and the believers now they have to obey Allah. So any believer woman, any believing woman, she like to offer herself. How that help Islam? Everything nice. Allah, everything Allah he said is supposedly to tell us about him, about worshiping this God. So what does have to do with God? Why the sexual desire of Muhammad is so nice. important to the God who created this universe? Good, good, good. So the prophets themselves, by increasing the number of wives, you call that? No, that's a cult leader because he has, he wants so many wives. Is that your argument? Those are not wives. Those are women who are offering themselves. This, this is free sex. No. Brother, don't say free sex. Well, it because says you, it says she offers herself. Says, My friend, you speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. It brother, says wahabat wahabat nafsaha. Tell, 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 translate, please. Translate what wahabat means. What wahabat means. Okay, Allah, finish, 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 finish. No. What wahabat mean? Finish. Brother. What wahabat mean? You finished. You this finished. Is the question. What, what wahabat mean? Did you finish? Yeah, this is my question. What will habit mean? Brother, don't cut me in the middle of my answer so everyone can understand my answer. Please, brother. Okay. When I finish, you you, you can address all the things that I say. Uh-huh. Nice. Now, hmm. in that uh, your, your wives are halal for you. Allati hmm. atito jurahunna jurahunna the nafaka or this the um al the the what do you call it in English? Uh, Mahar. Hmm. Al Mahar. What do you call it in English? Doris. Okay. Doris. Doris. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you are Allah. You are Allah. You are Allah. You You can marry them. Hmm. The ones who have gone to Hijra with you. In Arad and Nabiya Stankiha, in Dun in Mu'mini. That when a woman, a believer, comes, I want to marry you, uh, O Prophet Muhammad. Yes, you can marry her. If she comes, she's the one who wants. Mm. It's not in, in a marital in a marital frame, not out of that marital frame. So you need the proof it was out of the marital frame. Mm. Can you bring that? Does it say in the verse, this is a privilege only to Muhammad? Yes, it is from Muhammad, but I no, need no. the proof. Does it say privilege? No, no, my friend, listen brother. carefully. Does it say privilege? Muhammad is a prophet, yes. That's no, no, a privilege no, no. for him. 
So it's a I privilege. Mean, so it's a brother, privilege. Brother, so, you said, you okay. said, so, brother, uh, uh, you said free sex. You said free sex, okay, brother. Hold on. Okay, okay. So I'm, so, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure because you, a woman she offer herself, sure you, he will not pay her sure her dowry. Brother, brother, the a woman she offer herself, she will not. She brother, he will not the pay her. Yeah, that's your understanding. That's your understanding. That is no, problem. You understand. I challenge you to prove me wrong. Go ahead. It is. Wait for me. She came, she wants to be the, the wife of Prophet Muhammad in wait for me. Hmm. Again, you keep cutting me. In the frame of marriage. Uh -huh. It's not this is what you said. All right. It's not in, do, in the do frame of have, marriage. Do he have to pay her any now, money? Do we have to you pay need, her? You need to, now you need the proof it was outside the marriage. I'm asking Where you, do he have to pay her any money? And she has my yeah. question is very simple. Do he have yes, to pay yes. them any dowries? Yeah. One Then she I think the 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 letter the um, the line before it. Uh -huh. She is considered I think uh -huh. the Yes, no. she's with them. Okay, hold on. Wa, hold on. Okay. Wa, okay. It means even she was them. Uh huh. Listen. So. Thank you. Uh, uh, now, if I show I, you I, now, I, if I show I, you a reference, it says that he will not I, pay them. Question. Are no, you no, going no. to accept it or not? Wait for me, brother. Uh huh. Solomon. Solomon was he a prophet? Uh, Solomon, he was a prophet. Thank you. What is, the, what, is the, what is the book? What is the book of Solomon? What is the book? What is the book of Solomon? How many wives and concubines did he have? What is the book of Solomon? You said he's a prophet. How many wives and concubines did well, Solomon did, have? Did his God say to him, "Go and have many wives"? How many wives? Hear the, this God, question. the God Brother. of Solomon, he condemned Solomon for his Brother. sin. Brother. The God of Solomon, he refused Solomon even to build a temple for him. Because his hand is full of blood, and he, my friend, in the Bible, Solomon was a bad person. He is not a good person. So you are saying to me that your prophet is a bad person. You just admitted the God of Solomon. He can condemn Solomon. He don't say to him, "God bless you for having more women." You don't say to him, "Wonderful what you did." So what you are saying to me, you are comparing your prophet. To a man who was sinners and he was crying for God to be forgiven. Thank you very much. And now I'm asking you in front of everybody. When this verse been given to Muhammad, Muhammad already look how many women they can be his wives. So what the point? Prophet, we have made lawful for you, your wives, and any women you pay their, their those are the one who paid their dowries, only the wives. And then any women, any women she is captive, you rape them those captives and any women is assigned Allah assigned to thee and then the daughter of your uncles the daughter of your partner you uncle the daughter of your auntie your partner auntie and then on the top of that any believing women she offer herself to the prophet so what is the purpose what about if I say to you according to what I understand Allah no, no. he rush Allah he rush to the lost of Muhammad the lost of Muhammad what do you think Brother, focus this, focus on that sentence. I believe no, that no, Allah he rush, Allah he rush. Whatever you said, I don't care right now. Now, Solomon, I asked you a question about Solomon. He I, was a I told you he's a bad person. Wait. I told you he's a bad person. I'm not no, defending no. him. No, wait, 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 wait. So, Solomon was a bad prophet? Sure. What about the prophet? He's a bad person. Are you are you crazy? Yes, no, he's not. I'm saying to you, he's a bad person. Anyone who do anything, my friend, my friend. Obviously, you do not know what the Bible teach about all those men. We don't worship them. We don't defend them. And when they do sin, we condemn them. Not like you. You worship a man. So I'm asking you okay. now. I just told you the answer, and now you do not okay. know what to say. I just told you, okay. Solomon and David. Not only Solomon, Solomon and David, and many other prophets. They are sinners. And when they do sin, God, he condemned their sin. And now I'm asking you, did the God of Solomon now, say to him, any believing woman, she offer herself to Solomon? Does God send sinners to preach? He didn't, he's not a preacher. Who said to you that Solomon is a preacher? Solomon uh, ruled. 
Solomon is a king. Yeah, he's a king. He is not a priest. He is not a priest. Somebody told you that uh, Solomon was the, the that was the bishop. What are you talking about? So I'm asking you now. This is a prophet of God sent by Allah. And this verse sent by God Himself, saying, "Any believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet." So. And now Solomon you will go back. I, let, I want you to focus with me with one sentence. Focus yeah, on yeah. Me. with one sentence, please. One no, sentence. No. Just one you sentence. Just, you just made the clarity. Kareem, Kareem. You just I, made Ali, the I don't know what to call you. Just one sentence. Do you think you just, that, that Allah? Mistake. Do you think that Allah? He is making a verse just to satisfy the desire of Muhammad, the sexual desire of Muhammad. You, you're the one who believes in that. What you're if I show you that Aisha that. is the one who said that? Now you're gonna bring another hadith. Oh, which is oh my so why not? Why not? You see, I'm here to prove the evidence. Here we go. This is a sahih okay. hadith. Aisha she said okay. that the, she it's said arguing. Aisha she said to the Prophet, I see that your Lord he rush into your desire, Muhammad. You said to me, I am this is my thought, but this is what Aisha she said. Open your yes. camera, open your camera, and I want everybody to to see your face reading it. This is why you turn off your okay. camera because it's embarrassing. No, no, my camera is on, brother. What no, is I don't see about? you. I don't see you. Really? Yeah. Um, it's on. I don't see I'm you. Sorry. I don't know why. <clears throat> no, I, I did report it on. Now? It's still not working. No, my camera is on, brother. Let me call you back. Hold on. <laughs> this is my opinion yes dear okay now the camera is working okay wonderful okay, okay. I, I send you the link and I will give you the you can search it online you know it says Hadathana Abu Quraib Muhammad ibn Ala etc that when when the pro, when women they offer themselves to the Prophet Aisha she said and you can search it by you speak Arabic uh, she said قالت والله ما أرى ربك إلا يسارع إلى هواك يا محمد. You said to me, this is my opinion. When the fact the one who said that that Allah he rushed into the desire of Muhammad is Aisha. Okay, you finished? Yeah. Nice. Do you remember when I told you I'm gonna ask you something about the Bible since sure, I've sure. been answering all these questions? No problem. Nice. I wanna. I don't wanna refer the Bible because we spent like like two hours on the Quran and the Hadith. I wanna go to the Bible right now. Yeah, but why do you wanna? Why, why you wanna jump? What uh, what Aisha she said? Yes, because I have a privilege now that I've been answering you for the last. No two problem. Hours. You have a privilege, I my friend. Still, you have the privilege. We're not. Be... Why you wanna jump? What Wait. Aisha she said. You said to me, this is my opinion. I'm showing you that Aisha saying that Muhammad. Obviously, your God, he worked for you, Muhammad. It's not, this is not to you. You are not a prophet. Okay. Your God, he okay. rushed into you. When I said to you, uh, 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 Ali, when I said to you, do you think that this is the lust of Muhammad, the desire of Muhammad, and the, the God of Muhammad is rushing to his desire? You said to me, this is your thinking. This is what you said. I, now, and I'm saying to you, this is what Aisha, she said. And what do you do? You want to skip it. Because it's an embarrassment. It's a proof that everything I said is true. And even the wife of Muhammad, she became so suspicious that this man, he fabricated Quran. I see. Okay. Ha ha. Your God, he rushed into your temptation, Muhammad, your desire. The God is not doing his own desire. He is doing the desire of Muhammad. And who said that? Aisha. And the hate in front of you. And you don't want to read it. Why? Okay. Uh, since I gave you the privilege and the time and answered the question that you raised, I think it is a privilege for me no to... No problem. To just one, just one, one, two minutes. Just one, we'll take you two minutes, my friend. Just do two minutes. Just two minutes. Do I deserve... My friend, I now, promise I you, you have the privilege now. You have the privilege. No problem. Do, just two minutes. Why you want to skip it? Why you want to skip it? So are you admitting? Because I Are you admitting you. at because the I end? Are you admitting okay, that talk. Aisha, she talk, killed talk. your argument? Are you admitting that Aisha, she killed Islam? Okay. Now, I gave you so many hours, like two hours now, hmm. that I've been answering you. Now, can I go to the point for the Bible? Already, you, like already you, you attacked the Bible. You said to me, Solomon, already you can attacked I? the Bible. You forgot? Already? Did I say I will not answer you? Already you attacked the Bible and you said, Solomon, he did no. this. Yes, you did. My subject? No, 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 no. Wait for me, brother. 
I brought Solomon for, for the refute that Muhammad wanted to women. So I brought you a prophet. And I answered that you. He had. And I answered Wait you. for me. Wait for me, brother. Wait uh -huh. for me. Right? I brought you a prophet from the Old Testament that mm -hmm. he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Uh -huh. okay. Then you said he's a sinner. That's your belief, and uh -huh. that will be upon you on the judgment day that you called Solomon sinner. That's upon you. Uh -huh. Now, I want to discuss something in the Bible. Okay. Can I? But you will not answer me about Aisha. Because I have, no, I gave you two hours. Now, I have give the me, right. Give me two hours and one and 60 no, seconds. Brother. Tell me why no, no, Aisha she said that. I've been, I've been respectful for you and I give you time. Uh, and so, I okay, I will, I will give you, the, okay, I will give you the microphone yes. now. But guys, be my witness. Aisha, she killed Islam and she made Islam shish kebab. Go ahead. As, as you think, as you believe. It's okay with <laughs> go me. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, it's back for me. It's now it's 10 24. Okay. I'll, I'll, I will end this in an hour because it's going to be 11 and time. No problem. From, uh, from I will be with leave. you until so, tomorrow if you want. No problem. No, we can't because I have prayers and you have a lot of things to do. All right. So we cannot do that. Okay. It's going to be, okay, one hour. Okay, 45 minutes. 45 minutes is going to be the no, time for no me. No problem. Okay. I want to discuss a lot of things, uh, a lot of points Copy in the, things, in the yeah. Bible. Hmm. Uh, as you hmm. just mentioned, copy based. Does the Bible contradict itself? The Bible contradicts itself. Yes. Hmm. Does it? Tell me. Is there is there contradictions in the Bible? No. Tell me. Is there? Is... Nice. You have you have the Bible, right? I read the newspaper in the morning. No. Do you have a Bible next to you? That no. You we, can we don't have it. Up? We don't have it. You Muslim, you say we don't have Bible no more. What I will do? I cannot read the Bible. It's gone. Brother, do you have I'm it? asking you. I'm not. I'm asking I'm you. Do you I'm asking you. Do you have it? Do you have it? Brother, don't brother use the I'm asking please. you. Do you have the Bible yourself? Brother, do you I'm, I'm going to ask you. My friend, do you have the Torah yourself? Brother, uh -huh. I'm going to ask you about the Bible. Okay, do you what, have the Bible? What Bible you are talking about? With the Bible of Allah? The Bible of what? Okay, I'm going to head to it. Open 1 Chronicles 21. Uh -huh. Open it. Okay, read it for me. Go ahead. Open it so we can. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to show. I'm lying. I'm saying anything. I wanted to confirm it. You could uh, tell me what do you want to say. Go ahead. The first verse in one Chronicles twenty one. Uh -huh. And Satan stood up and invoked David to mm. what? Mm. To census Israel, the mm. people of Israel. Mm. Go and number them. How many they are? Mm. One Chronicles twenty one. It says Satan. Stood up and invoke hmm. David. Hmm. If you go to Second Samuel twenty-four, hmm. the anger of the Lord was killed and kindled against David, and he and it was for, for the Lord to be uh, go and sense Israel. Hmm. So who's the one who made the senses of Israel, the Lord or Satan? Hmm. Which is but the, but, but did you see did you other. see what you just did to yourself? A second ago, you mentioned to me, Solomon, he have many wives. And now you are saying to me that God, he condemn the sinners. You just got yourself busted. And you are quoting me from the Bible that David, he invoked, Satan, he invoked David, correct? David, 1 Chronicles 21, and Satan stood up to David yeah. and invoked him, go oh. and sense this, Israel. Right. Okay. So, okay. so you, you just agreed that the Bible does not approve the behavior of a person who do wrong. And you just agreed that God go against them when they do wrong. You are the one who caught for me, Solomon, and now you are quoting David. And now let me answer you. You are saying, you are, yeah, saying, you are saying to me this is a contradiction. Are you, so it are, is, you it is a contradiction. are you insulting your prophet? <laughs> brother, what are you brother, talking about? I I'm want talking... you to read the Quran with me, brother. 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 I want brother. you to read the Quran with me. I want you to read the Quran brother. with me. No, hold on, hold so on. So you don't want to hold on. So you don't want to discuss it's, this. It's my time to answer. It's not my time to answer. Listen, here we go. You ask me about the Bible, and now let us answer you, and you will see what will happen to you. Uh the Quran saying, uh, my friend, yes. okay, your Quran okay. saying 
that Allah he agree in the Bible which you confirm to be corrupted is that correct again I, I is, the Quran, the, uh, is the Quran agree with the Bible which you called corrupted and have contradiction your Bible I just showed you one okay I'm asking you do your Quran agree with my Bible or against my Bible brother I asked you a question I'm asking is you a, a question you not? See, and I'm not going to waste my time I'm asking you do your Quran? So you don't want do to answer. You don't want to answer. I'm, answer, answer, I'm answering. I'm answering because I wonder if you are even a Muslim. You are a Muslim, why? my friend. You are the Muslim. Here we go. The Quran says why that he, the Quran says that Allah He agree with the with the book of the Jews and the book of the Christian. And you, as a Muslim, calling me to say there is a contradiction in the Bible. So which one of you is saying the truth, Allah or you? Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. And when come to them okay. a book from Allah. Confirming what is with them. Are you saying that this is a contradiction in the Quran and the Muslim they believe in contradiction? Because if Allah okay. confirming the book which you claim it's a contradiction which is not, how Allah He confirm it, but you make fun of it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna address that. Go but I'm gonna hold you to answer this contradiction. Uh -huh. I'm gonna address that. There's no contradiction. What is the contradiction? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait for me. Wait, brother. I got you. I got you. We have 45 minutes, brother. Hmm. It's gonna be long for you. No problem. So, so now, the whole book, there are some truth in it. Just like in the New Testament, John 73, where Jesus says, "This is a life eternal that made night know you as uh, the only true God." That he, he's uh, saying that God is the only true God. That we say that's what's truth back then. Where Jesus said that. And uh, a lot can, of you rest, of can you read the rest of it? Can you read the rest of it? Wait for me. Wait for me. No, no, wait no, no. Me. You said this. This wait is the only me, truth. Bro. But there, wait then, then me, you bro. will see that Jesus is wait. His only Son. Okay, okay. Go ahead. You see, you see, you see, cut me. You, you <laughs> are you afraid, brother? Let, sure, let sure. me continue. Sure, sure. Thank you. So just like John seventeen three and other verses, so right that my father is greater than all. My father is greater than I. There are truth in the Bible which is indicates the oneness of God of the Father of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And there are other things that got inside the book, got by force. Someone put these in the in the books, which is a trinity and uh, that Jesus was God. The it is three basic things: the crucifixion, the original sin, and the divinity of Christ. That's where we differ. But other than that, where it says about the oneness, we confirm that because it was confirmed that Isa in the Quran that he only worshipped Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the Father. As one true God, and you can find that. Now, there are a lot of contradictions in the, in the Bible. Why do I say that? Just like one Chronicles twenty one. Okay, let me, let me answer. You. Samuel, let me answer you. Okay, go for it now. My yes. friend, you are jumping over what I just said to you. The Quran did not say confirming some of it. The Quran says, "Why you don't want to read the verse? Are you ashamed of it?" Does the Quran says, "Allah He approve." only some the truth of it or he says confirming what is with them do you believe in the quran brother you believe in it not me i'm laughing at it then why are you bringing a verse from the quran the so you are saying you to me in yeah in the court of law so, my friend my friend so, i i have i have degree in in the sharia law so i'm saying to you in the court of law so, do you do you bring you hold on it? do you bring uh, do you bring an evidence signed by you or by your enemy you know, that's that's silly. Say, so I'm giving you I'm giving you, you a say, reference signed by you, and you are saying to me you how we can it. use it against you me. So you are you saying Muhammad are you saying are you saying your prophet he did lie when he said that? Wait 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 wait. Oh. You just said Muhammad dictated. Muhammad was a lord, a cult lord. Yeah. And you don't believe the Quran. It was, uh -huh. it was fabricated by Muhammad. Yeah. And and Muhammad says there's contradictions. There's contradictions. Muhammad he says. So you break a verse. Wait. Muhammad he says. Since you wait for me, since you believe in your own mindset that Muhammad wrote the book, it was from God. That's your belief. Uh -huh. So for you, referring to Muhammad, your cousin is your own self. I'm not referring to Muhammad. I'm not referring. I'm not referring so to you Muhammad. Believe in my God. friend, 
You are the one who follow Muhammad blindly, and now I the best the the, the best to prove the best to prove of hypocrisy of the Muhammadan is to show them that even when the, when their prophet he say something against what they just claim, they throw their prophet under the bus. So this is what you are doing. You are saying to me, are you throwing my prophet under the bus to prove that my prophet oh. is a liar? So what you do? Uh, uh, no, you are the Blame one refusing. Him. I'm asking you, why your prophet Blame he him, lie? Brother. Are you saying? Are you saying your prophet Blame he made a lie? Are you saying that, brother? Are you saying you're the one? Who, brother, wait for me. Uh -huh. You so you're not so you're so afraid of bringing this contradiction that we discuss discuss it that you reference the Quran says the Quran says. Hmm. But wait. Did you say the Quran was fabricated, fabricated by Muhammad, mm -hmm. and you still bring a reference from it? Mm -hmm. That's that's hypocrisy from you, brother. Why? So it's it's. I tell you, since you believe that the Bible is from God and shouldn't have any contradiction, then we should address this one. Mm -hmm. Was it Satan who invoked David, or was it the Lord? Because the opposite of okay, Lord, I will, I will God, answer you. Satan. I will answer you. So who, both. Yeah, both. who provoked? David. Here we go. I just got you busted. The both because Satan he cannot invoke no. unless God. You see, in Christianity we believe that if you are not with God, God will leave you alone to every evil spirit. So God permission who allows Satan to invoke David. Now I got you busted. Now we go back to zero. When your God, Muhammad, no. when you're, okay. it's not up to you. I give you my answer. It's up to you to accept, not to accept. This is your oh, business. Nice. Now, hold on. So now, I'm, now you I'm are gonna, saying to me, okay. my friend, let me finish. Let me finish. It's, 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 you ask me the question. Okay. okay. So now I answered okay. you, and now I gave you your prophet agree with our book, confirming what is between our hands, and now you refuse your prophet confirmation like now i bring in your prophet next to me and i say please mr muhammad can you answer mr ali and muhammad he says my son the quran mm -hmm. says and when there come to them a book from allah confirming what is with them mr karazama ali he come and he say don't listen to muhammad why you are bringing me muhammad as a witness he is first not legitimate that's what you said he is not legitimate you don't believe in him. He's a liar. So why you are bringing him to me? I brought you a liar to get you busted with your lie. How you can play me for that? This is your prophet. You are saying he's a liar. It's not my fault. So who is the one is lying now? You or your Quran saying confirming what is with us? When I gave you this verse, you said, we believe there's some truth in the Bible. Does the Quran says some of the Bible I confirm? Or confirm what is with them. And not only that, there's other verses. When you speak Arabic, it says, What is between their hands. Is that true? The Quran says that, or I'm making things up? Yeah. Okay, nice. Can I can I respond now? Go ahead. Thank you, brother. Hmm. Now you see, I didn't talk, I didn't cut you up. So I wish that you do the same with me, brother, really. Now, مصدق لما بين بين يديه مصدق لما في الكتاب. He believe what's in the book, mm -hmm. and I told you, some of the book are there are some truth that you get, that you Christians don't mm -hmm. see them. That that is like John seventy three and other verses, so many mm -hmm. where Jesus he says, "I'm a servant of the Father. I'm mm -hmm. I don't know the hour. A lot of things that uh -huh. Jesus limited himself mm -hmm. as a prophet, mm -hmm. and he never claimed he was God, and right. he never claimed." I am God, worship me, and equivocal, non-ambiguous verse, you don't find that in the Bible. So mm. that, on that, we say, yeah, that was the truth back then. Mm. Because we believe the Torah, when it's got established to Moses, by time, it's got changed. Mm. But there's still some truth in it. Mm. And the Injil, when it's been sent with Jesus, and he preached about the Injil, mm. that was the truth. And by time, it got changed again. How did it got change? When I bring to a contradiction, just like, 1 Chronicles 21 and 2 Psalm, 2 Samuel 24. I just where answer you. The opposite. <laughs> okay. What, what is the opposite of the Lord and Satan? Both okay. of them killed in the anger and Satan stood up to invoke and they're not the same person. How come Satan and Lord, God, the Father, mm -hmm. become both of them invoking David? All right. How come is that? You see, in, in, a, in, in, a, in a second, in, in a second. One minute, one minute. Uh -huh. Isn't isn't Satan the order of confusement? 
He is? Yes, he is the author no, of the No, he's not. No, 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 no. Satan, Satan, no. Satan. No. Satan. No. Satan is not the no. author of the abusement. No, it's Allah. Satan. It's Allah. Is in the Quran says, is in the Quran says that the one who deceive is Allah. Hold on, no, you see, yeah, now, you, now you are scared. You just get yourself oh. in a very bad shape, my friend. Let me let me use your logic. Is in the Quran Brother, says Shaitan have, okay, is the I'm, one I'm who deceive you, you. you and then the Quran says, and then the Quran Brother, says I, Allah he deceive you. Is Allah and Shaitan Brother, is the same person? Brother, we I have ten minutes to leave, so I'm gonna address you with this. Why ten minutes? You said forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's in ten thirty nine right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we spend the time. No, we do not. So, come on, you can't. Yeah, my friend, Allah will forgive you, my friend. You are bringing victory to Islam. Don't go. Okay, that's, that's we like you to stay. Wrong, let me that's ask you. Let me ask you. You just said something very important. Can be I the same person. The Quran brother, says brother. that the one who deceives is Allah, and Shaitan is the one who deceives. So, which one is deceive, Allah or Shaitan? Which well, one is the one? Here. Which one he? Which one is according to your religion? Which one is the one who deceived David or deceived you or deceived Muhammad? Is it Shaitan or Allah? Can I speak now? Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. When I showed you that is the opposite, the Lord and Satan are not, cannot be one. It's not the opposite. Into, it's not the opposite. Wait for me. Uh -huh. Wait for me. Uh -huh. And you, you couldn't find a way out only to say they're both in folk David. So Satan is the order of confusement, and Lord, the Father, God, is not the order of confusement, because he he will get into righteousness. He will, will be strict in his saying. Mm. He will be obvious. Mm. Satan will doesn't have that obvious. He wants to lead you stray. All right. So you just fall okay. for that oh, when you say no, Satan wonder, is not the order. Of wonderful, confusion. wonderful. Hold on, wonderful. Can, can I can I can I answer you? I want you. I want okay, you to be. Okay. I want you to be brave. Finish. Let me finish. Let no, me no, finish. you will. You will never okay. finish because simply you are trying to waste the time. So I cannot. I cannot. I cannot finish the conversation. You want to leave? You see. Now I am. I don't want you to leave. Just wait. Wait. We like you. Really, we like you. Listen. Listen, our friend. I don't hear you. I don't know what happened. Hello. Okay. Listen. Listen. You said the Lord of the Bible is not the Lord of confusion. Everybody heard you saying that the Lord of the Bible is not the Lord of confusion. Do we agree? Yes, okay. God the Father is not the author of confusion. All right. Do you is, agree with that? Is Allah the Lord of confusion? No, it's not the Lord of confusion. So let us go to the Quran, and now you will run away, and you will say, don't read the Quran for me. Here we go. So let's go, let's go. I'll give you this point. I'll, hold I'll, on, I'll, hold let's... on, hold on. Here we go. This is your Quran. This is your Quran, my friend. Yes, the Quran saying, the Quran saying that are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, listen, okay, chapter 4, verse number 88, everybody would die laughing now, you just admitted that the Lord of confusion is not the Lord, so your God Allah is not the Lord, because if Allah is the Lord, my friend, if Allah is the Lord, he cannot be the Lord of confusion, so chapter 4, verse number 88, can you please read it for us? You so you see how obvious I am. I don't go very around. obvious. Really, if yeah. you say something, I will go straight for it. Yeah, I go Quran. straight for it too. Here we go. You you uh, just you just to prove to us that your God is the God of confusion, not my God. You agreed with me that my Lord in the Bible is not chapter the Lord of confusion, and now we had tons of verses in the Quran saying Allah is the deceiver. Chapter and verse. Chapter four, verse number eighty-nine. Sorry, 89. chapter uh, uh, chapter four, verse number eighty-eight. It is. Hmm. Just a minute. Oh. My family is awake, so. Let's go. Well, they will support you. Don't worry. You are defending Allah and His Prophet, so you are a hero. No, I don't need your help. You just need to defend the contradictions in your mm -hmm. book. True story. Okay. Uh, chapter 4, verse, verse number 88. 80, 88. Yeah. Yeah, it says, uh, 
فما لكم في المنافقين فئتين والله اركسهم بما كسبوا <تصفيق> اتريدون ان تهدوا من اضل الله ومن يطل الله فلن تجد له سبيلا ترانسليت يس ترانسليت جو اهيد فما لكم ان ات واز فور يو ذا هيبوكريتس ار تو فئتين تو دينامينيشنز فئتين تو دينامينيشنز والله اركسهم تو جروب دي كان دي هيبوكريتس واي الله الله ذم تو ريجريس تو ديسبلي والله بما كسبوا and what they gained so mm-hmm. many uh, because of they gained so many sins and so many blaspheming mm-hmm. that Allah has cast them aturiduna and tahdu do you want do you want to give hidayah to the ones to guide those left by Allah to stray and whoever Allah leaves to stray you will never find for them a way mm-hmm. yes what what do you what do you have the, the word it says yudil what yudil mean in arabic من اضل الله yeah. ومن يضل الله لن تجد له سبيلا اوكي وات يضل مين يضل وان يضل الله اضل الله يا وات يضل مين واي دو ونت تيل اس وات يضل مين وات الله ديت اكزاكتلي وان هي سيد هي ديد ضلال از ان ضلال از ذا كونفيوجن اند ديسبشن اف اف اي سي انت 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 شخص اف اي اف اي سي انت شخص ضال ديد اي سي ذات يو ار ا لوست بيرسون اند يو بين ديسيفد نايس So deceiving in Arabic, it means uh, deceiving Arabic. It, it has so many words. No. Uh, it have, yeah, it give have me, give two, me. It have two major words, yudil and makara. Makara, makara and yudil. Okay. So they they deserve the dalala. Uh-huh. How, how can you say dalala in English? Deception. No, it's not deception. Well, uh, you, are, that you, you are the one who said want, he, he led them astray, no, astray, 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 astray is I'm deception. Not gonna use, I'm not going to use your term because deception is... Uh, we can go, we something. can open the dictionary. No. We can open the dictionary. Open the dictionary. It's, it's okay with me. But okay. uh, Can you read for me the dictionary? Adult, what oh, what you do mean in the dictionary? Wait for, wait for me. Bima kasabu, what mm. they gained of sins and blasphemous, mm. What they gained because of what they gained by sins hmm. and blasphemy and a lot of major sins. Do you want to give hidayah for the ones who gave a lot of sins of blasphemous and they, Allah, got them straight hmm. because of their sins hmm. and blasphemous? Hmm. Hmm. And who is God? Is really showed him so many things and so many uh, the truth, and he evaded from that. Mm-hmm. You this want, this, you this want verse was way. about who, Ali, if you don't mind. This is verse about who? Who, who are they at that time? Who they were talking about? Who they were hypocrites at the time of Muhammad The people, of, the, people of after, the people of Quraysh. The people of Quraysh. Or after, or after the people of Quraysh, and it goes on. But is that including the people of Quraysh? Quraysh or after them? But is that include the Wait people of Quraysh? Wait for me. The people of Quraysh and who is after the people of Quraysh? Wonderful. Even after... Look what Nadir. you just did. Look what you just said. You just said that this is about the people of Quraysh and whoever after. But later all of them they become Muslims. And the verse says you will never find the guidance for them. So Allah yes. Prophet, he made a false prophecy that his God told him that nobody can guide those people. But later all of them, they become Muslims. So how you will not find guidance for them because Allah deceived them and later they become Muslim. What happened? <laughs> what does munafiqin mean? I don't care. You said, I ask you, who are they? You said. You said what those does are the people. Mean? Munafiq, according to you, munafiqin is me munafiqin. According to you, anyone who accept, don't accept Muhammad is a munafiq. Anyone who don't like Muhammad is a munafiq. Anyone even that, my that, friend. That's my, not the term. That's not the term. Munafiqin means uh-huh. who shows Islam, but in his heart is not Islam. Oh, those He's are showing Islam. Those are not. Those are Wait Muslims. Those are Muslims. Wait for me, brother. Uh-huh. Wait for me, brother. Uh-huh. You see, you rush things. Hmm. You see. Munafiqin, hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy? Mm-hmm. Even in an hour, when we meet, we go, oh, no, he's a hypocrite now. Mm-hmm. He says something, but inside his heart is, is other thing. Mm-hmm. So some of Mushriki Makkas, they were Munafiqin. They show for Muhammad, yes, we believe in you, and you're a righteous man, and we will mm-hmm. be good Muslims. But inside their hearts, there is a different thing. That's why Allah made them Dalala. Why? 
you you kept your hypocrisy inside and you showed you're a good Muslim. Now I worship Allah and I'm with you guys. And he wants evil to Muhammad and the other companions. Okay. So when they got deserved... Can you give me a proof of what you Allah, say? Wait for me. I'll finish. And when they got deserved, أظلهم الله. Okay. وما يضل الله فلن تجده سبيلا. I have tafsir. I have tafsir in front of me. I have tafsir in front of me. I know. I know. Saying that everything you said is not true. Those are not believers. Those are not Muslims. Those are not Muslims. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. They're not believers. But you said to me. You said to me. They show Islam. No, the tafsir says that those are mushrikeen. They are not Muslim. They never converted to Islam. Brother, brother. Did I say they are munafiqeen, hypocrites? Yeah, but they you said to me, Islam you said to me, they show down. Islam. They never show Islam. Read it. Mm -hmm. They never, they never say we are Muslims. They never say this. Is why he is saying, are you going to convert those who Allah misled? And then we read the tafsir says those are not what, convert. What? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's not conversion. There is no conversion. Do you want to give hidayah uh -huh. that you preach to them? Do, to you, who? Want, do you want to, to who? preach? To to wait who? for me, wait for me, brother, brother. Uh -huh. Wait, Allah, Allah barak you. Do you want to give hidayah? Hmm. Who was a hypocrite inside and he showed you Islam? Just can you show me what he... it says? He showed you Islam from where you get this from? Can you wait? Can you wait, brother? No, no I want to know because you are making things up, my friend. You want to know, but you rush things. That's why you rush I things. I keep repeating you the you question. Wait. You don't tell me where you get this from. You repeat the question because you cut me every time when I answer, brother. Hmm. Do I have to repeat myself? You are, Just wait you are repeating yourself because you refuse. You jump over Why? my certain question. Me. You what? keep cutting me, brother. Friend, where are you, you got this? Me? Where you got? Where do you get the statement? They show Islam. Where do you get this from? Are you making things brother. up, brother? Can uh -huh. I get a full answer that you acknowledge me? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Madam, madam. Okay, okay. I will do it. Inshallah. Okay, guys. Five minutes, and I will leave because I have something to do. The hypocrites, uh -huh. they show Islam, but deep down, they mm. don't have Islam. Mm. Do you give hidayah for those who are munafiqs, not to a Muslim? They are munafiqs. They are show Islam. They are not Muslim. Do you give them hidayah? And Allah knows what's in their heart. And they deserve to be astray. And that's it. And that's it. So, brother. Thank you. I hold on. Leave, hold really? on. Just wait. Hold yes. on. I, I, I need just, to leave, really. just fine. Uh, First of all, what you said to me, someone, what you said to me is absolutely is really waiting me outside, no problem. Brother. I respect uh, my friend. This, first uh, of all, first of all, first of all, I'm happy to have you, honestly. Okay, and you are welcome okay, always okay. to call us. And I hope that we know if we shout, etc., it's okay. You know, we are trying just to understand, and there is no hatred between us. All right. But look what you just said. I asked you where it says where you get this from that they show Islam. You refuse to tell me because all tafsir says they are mushrikeen. Okay. They never they never I show Islam. Brother. Not only that, you said brother. to me Thank that makar and dalal brother. is the same word. Makar okay. and dalal, you can, you can and Allah is, is the best of the makarin. Allah is the best of the makarin. So Allah yeah, okay. is Thank the Lord brother. of confusion, and you agree that makarin is is a word mean <laughs> deceiver. So now everybody knows that dalal. And Makar is the Lord of Islam. And as he yes. said, he ag I agree with him. Our Lord, the Lord of the Bible, is not the Lord of confusion. And our friend here, Mr. Karazma Ali, he agreed with no question that the Lord of the Bible is not the Lord of confusion. How wonderful. Like beer. <laughs> you know, supposedly, like he, you know, he opened a website and when he want to copy for us from the website, what the website says, and he found a contradiction. And, you know, and then when I show him what his prophet says, he says, we don't believe in Muhammad. Why you bring me the prophet Muhammad? So they throw his prophet under the bus because this is an embarrassment. It's extreme embarrassment. And then he fabricate answers saying, oh, those are... People who they are believers, you know, but they are not believers. That I've seen in front of me, we can open up Nikathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Jalalain. And I keep saying to him, Can you show me where it says that those are people who show Islam? They don't. They make things up to justify things.
They love to make things up. And then I showed him the hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari. He, he stuck with the one that says Hassan al-Gharib. That's it, Hassan al-Gharib. It says Hassan means good. And what about al-Bukhari? And what about al-Turmudi? And what about it says Sahih? I feel sorry for him. But do you think he will come back again? Or he will sing the song never again? <laughs> Yeah, a shake. And you know the funny a shake, he says he don't know. He don't know what verse you are talking about. His beard is so long, he is a shaker from Kuwait, and he played that he does not know where is the verses. What are you talking about? And then this verse is about Sauda. What are you talking about? Do you have a proof? And then I I'd ask him about Aisha and the, the 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 wives of Muhammad, they ask him to be treating them justly. He's unjust. Do you have a proof? I hope you guys you have a good time for me it's getting really too late it's already morning here and actually I'm already supposed to I was speaking for hours before we go live right so I'm really already tired but uh, uh, you know it's fun it's fun to get Muhammad busted with no mercy all right uh, and remember I asked him uh, so uh, you Yudel what is the word? What is the word for deceive in Arabic? What the word? He said, what is the word? There's two, there's word or many words. I said, yeah, there's Yudil and Makr. He said, yes, Yudil and Makr, you're right. What the heck? He just agreed. And then Allah, the Quran says, uh, uh, Allah is the best of al makirin So he agreed that Allah is the best of the confusion and deception. How wonderful, my friend. We thank you, Lord. For bringing those Muslims so many they will leave Islam and many they will witness how Islam is a shish kebab hummus a prophet making verses for a privilege of his sexual desire money and not only that even his followers accuse him that he's still underwear <coughs> actually good that he left because my throat is hurting <laughs> I cannot talk no more I want to say thank you very much for being here. And uh, we praise the Lord for the victory. For this is his victory, not ours. We praise the Lord for showing the truth. And we show every single Muslim that Islam have no truth in it. It's just a fabrication, game playing, and how easy, even when they play so much games, how easy it is to conquer this cult. This is the easiest cult to conquer. They play with you because you don't speak Arabic. They cannot play with me. I have what they have. In the top of that, I have all the laundry of Muhammad. It's in my backyard. And don't open the door. The smell is so bad. I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope we have a good time. And don't forget, you can join us in Patreon if you care. And some people, they say they are not receiving notification. That's why we say, well, go to Patreon and you can receive notification. You do not need to know to do any donation anyway. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And Ante, we see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. And I hope I did my best. Take care.